welcome everybody to wildflowers on release day today is the day the game is released oh my lord at least on platforms not on the apple arcade but at least on uh pc and nintendo switch today the game will be released it's exciting it's awesome you will be able to play it later today no 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 wait 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 cans today's the 20th and it's not out yes it will be yes it will be the game is scheduled on a pdt time zone so it will release in the pdt time zone which means that it will be released here on the 20th now depending on your time zone it could be released on the 21st okay but that's what it is hopefully that clears up a little thing i think i think i think it will be released at 11 p.m uk time i think so watch out for that anyways welcome everybody to wildflowers as we continue our journey here in Fairhaven, and it's going to be a nice one let's go ahead and continue oh wow just that fast really okay great uh i i'll be honest with you i have no idea where we were at um so we're gonna be relaxing today playing some fair haven and maybe by the end of the stream it will be available in your area how about that how about that that'd be kind of cool right that would be really cool so there you go if it drops at 11 p.m by the end of the stream you'll be able to play it so there we go very cool um so yeah so we have some mushrooms for mr shelby we do have this which is massive uh our potatoes should be uh you know finishing up here soon questionable supply chain i guess the mayor needs you to bring some wood because this is something went missing at some time rather than something um so yeah we got to bring him some wood no big deal there more wheat yeah more wheat kim wants some wheat and meant to be oh by the way let me just make this clear for anyone that has played the apple arcade version today on release day we will be getting something new as far as content wise there will be more wedding attire outfits so everyone should most likely have their own very customized wedding attire outfits um in the game so that is super super cool um, so depending on who your marriage counts uh, candidate is, they will be wearing something different depending on just their personality. So that's really cool. Absolutely. Um, let's like get a start on uh, our you know thing here. <laughs> let's start getting it on, right? Let's start getting it on indeed. Very well. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's water this and get this going. How's it going, everybody in chat? Hope everyone's having a good day today. Today is Tuesday. I will not collect that because it is a Tuesday. No, <laughs> it's a Today is Tuesday, so, well, at least where I'm at, so, hope you all are having a good day today. Yes, yes, yes. How you doing? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the uh, seven months. Wow, Noah, seven months. That is awesome. That is so good. Very, very good. Thank you very much uh, for the seven months there, uh, Noah. That is very generous. Thank you for the uh, continued support. Uh, throughout the month. That is very, very special. Thank you so much. <clears throat> hey, Michelle and Michelle, thank you for two months. Thank you so much for the two months. I appreciate the re-up on two months. Thank you very, very much. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you for the generosity and the continued support as well. Very much. Very cool. Thank you all. Hmm. <laughs> Some of the characters need a marriage counselor. All right, so I'm going to leave the flowers where they're at for right now. I think our honey is just about there almost halfway there so yeah that's kind of fun uh i i went with the flower shirt today maybe for the wildflowers so you know we're, we're we're rocking there i'm gonna get some wood we need to get some wood today as well we also need to start experimenting more with cooking recipes that's what we need to do as well there's a lot to do today so here we are set your butts back and take it on i don't know what i just said <laughs> hey darren darren thank you very very much for the eight months and for the big generosity tier of now we are in business that is a very generous tier indeed and thank you for eight months of continued support here on the channel uh and moderation as well so thank you very much darren big ups to you hope you're doing well as well very cool thank you all very very much it's always nice to see that absolutely um yeah thank you thank you so we have enough wood 
right, for the mayor. So we can go give him his wood. And then we can go to Shelby and say, hey, Shelby, uh, we have uh, your mushrooms as well. So, yeah, all of this is going swell. <laughs> oh, gosh. Celebrated my 28th birthday. Very, very well, Merle. Very well, Merle. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. The alarm just woke me up. I have been enjoying your Winkle series. Oh, very cool. Winkle, Winkle Jay. I love that. Nice. Love to hear that. Hang on a sec. I think I have a pearl for this man. Hello, my good man. I think I have a pearl for you. Uh, I could gift him a pearl, maybe. Maybe I could do that. I was so excited you were coming. It's all she could talk about. Why have I never seen you before now? Oh. Let me move my face so that you can know the people's names. Hey, say no more. I know what it's like to be estranged from family. No. Oh. Well, I'm glad that they patched things up. One thing I really like about this game, you know how you play like life farm games and like you go talk to somebody and they have like the same three dialogues over and over and over. This game is like 94 became a member. Something new every time. By the way, thank you, Danielle Smith, for gifting out a membership to Ainworth. Very cool. Very cool. Very generous of you, Danielle Smith. Thank you very much, Danielle. Hope you're doing well as well. And uh, yeah, that was very kind. And oh my God. Let's get it started. Let's get it started indeed. Thank you very much, Matthew, for the 20 super chat. Very kind of you as well. Thank you very much, Matthew. Hope you're doing well too. Thank you guys for the uh, for the love and support right now, today, this morning, as we take off here in the wildflowers here. Wild <laughs> in the Fairhaven world, I will sell you four pearls. Do I have four to sell? I have four to sell. Take it. Take it or leave it. Maybe level up his uh, jewelry box? Yeah? No? Very cool. I was going to gift him a pearl, but he didn't want one, so that's fine. Uh, mayor, 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 and actual mayor, I have what you need. Tell me you've got the supplies. We're running out of time here. <laughs> I do. It's right here. Yes, it's right here. <laughs> Jeez. Take a breath and calm down. Well, you cut it pretty close, Missy. There was no need to unsettle me so. <clears throat> I cut it close. Well then. <laughs> Shut up. Here's your pay for handling this trifling matter. Thanks. So, are you going to tell me what this was all about now? Oh, sorry. I am not at liberty to discuss town <laughs> business with you. Good day. Well, 150 is fine, but the fact that you can't discuss anything and be all shady is, is bad. Matthew coming in hot, but not bothered. I love that. <laughs> Made me giggle a little bit. <clears throat> hey, Raymond. How you doing? Hello, Raven. Raven and Raymond. How you doing? How are y'all? Hey, Drew. Finally a game you can play. I, that's good to hear. Doing, Tara? That's good yeah. to hear, Danielle. It's a very oh, easy game, uh, accessible right. game. You know him. I almost forgot. He used to babysit me since both my parents worked. I was very sorry to hear about his falling out with your grandmother. Well, don't dip into the fun, Otto, and there won't be any cutting it close. If I were to give you a gift, I would give you a middle finger. On my way. Or Charmin, either or. Hey, Violet, how you doing, right? That's her name? Oh, she's the honeybee, of course. She is the honeybee. I, I will give you your honey sooner or later. Trust me. Let's maybe talk with... Uh, what's her name? Angela? Is it Angela? Angela? Vanessa, why did I think Angela? So has Hazel taught you any of her tricks yet? Sorry, what? You are learning how to run the farm, yes? I hope it's not indiscreet to say so. But Hazel has indicated to my husband that she would like to leave the farm to you. Oh, she would like to leave right. the farm yes. to you. Yes. Um, I'm learning how to help out so she can rest and get better. Right. Of course. Have a nice day, Tara. Well, I mean, honestly, it's expected. It's expected to have the farm in our name eventually. Right. That's kind of little tiny reason, maybe possibly why we are out here. Right. Uh, let's see here. Let's go with, um, let's go with, yeah, let's go back to Shelby. Let's go talk to Shelby. We have 483. You know what? Hang on. Before I go to Shelby, I don't want to get sidetracked. I want to go to, uh, the market and I want to buy some ingredients so that we can make some food and things like that. But we do need to start saving our money though. Let's talk to Amira. <clears throat> let's learn more about the character so I can kind of get an idea who I would like to romance. What makes your medicine so effective, Amira? Hmm. You really want to know the secret? Yes! Come closer. 
Okay. Genuine care. All right. Oh, I thought you might say adaptogens or whatever. <laughs> Those aren't real. She, I, I like her little cheeky wittiness, no? I, I do. I'm a, I'm a fan. Hello, Sophia? Don't think I can uh, actually romance you. You're already taken, sweetheart. Yeah, I know. <sighs> this may sound funny, but the bar stool on the far left is my favorite. <laughs> That's where Giacomo sat the first time he walked into my diner 15 so this one right here. years ago. He and Marcus, Lena's father, were supposed to be talking about something serious. Oh, but Giacomo only had eyes for me. Yeah, this is a good question. Anybody have any ideas of who they're going to wine and dine and they're going to make a marriage candidate? Let me know in the chat right now. Let me know if you guys have any ideas of who like you want to possibly narrow it down to as a marriage counselor or counselor marriage candidate. <laughs> hey, Kai. It's cool that Lena and Parker let their kids roam around town. My mom was so overprotective when I was little. She wouldn't let me play outside half the time. Surfer dude. I think that's Kai. I can't stay in one place for very long now. Kai is probably the sexiest uh, guy on the island. He's probably like hands down, right? I did not mean to say marriage counselor. <laughs> if the game was like Sunhaven, I would wine and dine both Kim and Amira. Uh, yeah, you can. You can. You definitely can. You can uh, you can marry Kim. You can marry Amira too. Yeah, absolutely. So between the two, who would you marry? <laughs> I know Kai is totally dadded up, right? I like Sophia too. I I think she's I think she's not in our in our. Um, I don't think she's a possible marriage candidate, but she is. I, I like I like. I mean, she runs a diner. I mean, what's not to like about it, right? Absolutely. The jewelry guy, Francis. I think Francis and Angus are a couple, though. So Francis and the butcher are are a couple. I'm going to just grab it. Because we have this, like, uh, potion or this spell on us right now where we can gather stuff without picking, like, having to click on it. <clears throat> Not many people to choose from. Let's, let's take a look here. These are our people. So we got Amira. We have Cameron. We have Damon. We have Kai. We have Kim. We have, that's it. <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's it. I think we have Kim, Kai, Damon, Cameron, and Amira. That's all we have so far. Let's go and pet the cat, obviously. Obviously. <gasps> Listen to that purr. Goth girl or anyone but the surfer, dude. <laughs> Ooh. I don't see Shelby out here. That's my only problem. I was hoping Shelby would be out here. Maybe I can go. Well, I don't know if I can go inside Shelby's house. I don't think I'm like properly like allowed to. You like the surfer look? Yeah, I don't think I'm allowed to. I don't know where Shelby would be, but that would be all right. Oh, in Sunhaven, you can marry more than one person. Oh, Jesus. I did not know they <laughs> you could do that. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah francis and angus are are, are it's I, I, the one thing i like about francis and angus the most is the fact that they um their businesses are right next to each, each other i love that let's talk to angus hello angus we're gonna go to the uh forest at night tonight oh oh you know who's single messenger cameron thank you He's the greatest guy uh, well francis isn't a fan but He's probably a wee bit jealous because I ramble on about the Consciousness Center all the time. And then I'm like, Francis, Cameron doesn't even play for our team. You don't have to be so catty about the league. And then he gets mad because I said he was being catty. Very good. Thank you, Angus. Ah, there's Grandma. Lena, how you doing, Lena? So, did your babysitting experience prepare you for twins? Twins. I didn't know they were twins. <laughs> oh, Tara, nothing prepares you for twins. At least they're not toddlers anymore. They don't try to put everything that's not nailed down in their mouths. 
a big no to Cameron? Is that what I'm seeing? A big no? Why is it a big no to Cameron? Is it because he's like, I, he seems very upfront. I don't know. Is it? Is that why it's a big no to Cameron? <laughs> I think Shelby comes during here. He's on the beach, right? He's on the beach, but I thought he came here like during the evening time too. He might hang out here during whichever day it is. Let's see if I see him up there. I do not see him up there. Grandma just passed by. Let's go see what they're uh, going on about here. I have, I have, I have, I have issues with organized religion. No Cam, no Cameron. I did not know there will be a werewolf to romance. In that case, I will hold out for that one. Oh. Yeah. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's talk to Grandma. Let's see how she's doing out here. Hey, Grandma. The altar is where we perform important rituals, like turning the season. Continue with your training, honeybee, and you'll be prepared when the moment comes. Very well. We're not that like we're not that uh, not that far away. We are we have we have like a little bit of like a little bit of of um of magic missing but not a lot this will give us enough to fill us up again there we go hooray what does the farseer have to say about anything farseer i'm sorry what name's farseer i see far like <laughs> you've got great vision visions right Okay, nice to meet you, Farseer. I love the uh, reactions from the characters, too. So good. I don't like camera because that church seems more like Scientology to me, and I have a big thing against Scientology. Now, um, for Cameron, does he run? He runs the church, right? He does the messenger. So what is he the postman and the uh, and the church goer or the like priest or something rather <laughs> I see I far see her I see far Angus what are you doing out here by yourself bud what are you doing let's actually go down to the beach I know it's a late we'll take a nice late stroll down to the beach how about that yeah let's do that Oh, dude, everybody's bumping in the bar. I should probably go into the bar. Oh, cutscene. Hell yeah. Hey, how's it going on the farm, new girl? Good. Fine. I'm exhausted. Oh, then you came to the right place. So, uh, what are you looking for today? A drink? A new friend? As a bartender, it's my job to get your life story. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's very much so. Um, uh, da you know what? I want to know more about Damon. Damon, what's your story? Actually, I'm more interested in learning your life story. What brought you to Fairhaven? Ah, you turned it around on me. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like you. This place used to be run by my pa. He and my mom moved back home to Johannesburg, so now I take care of it for him. If I think about it too much, <laughs> I really miss my folks. So thanks for taking the time to chat with me about it. I appreciate it. Oh, very nice. I, I, I do like da so Damon and Kai are brothers Damon has that Hawaiian kind of look to him right I, I say Hawaii but like the tribal tattoos you know he's got the tattoos but he doesn't speak like Kai does you know he doesn't talk like Kai but I, I yeah hello Kai I already talked to you today actually never mind uh Mr. Bruno as we don't talk about you but I would like to talk with you Shado coming out of the jewelry shop again can't say how he affords it, even on the mayor's salary. Anything what? to keep the missus happy, huh? I... Otto. Otto's using the money to actually buy jewelry for Vanessa. I hate all of it. I actually hate all of it. Good God. Hey, Natalie. Heard messenger Did I run past white, white flowers? Hard time keeping up his stock of pamphlets. That must mean that his message is really getting popular in town. Ooh. I'll go back. How much time do I got? I got 10 p.m. I might be able to go back. I do like how Otto hates the bar and his wife just chills there. Maybe they do need a marriage counselor. <laughs> 
I don't know. I don't know why he would hate the bar, right? There goes my assumption. Farseer is Bruno. I want to help out Damon as much as possible to tick off Otto. That's a good shout. I like that. There you go. Let me see if I pass. Yeah, I did pass the white flowers. Good, 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 good eye. Very good eye. This is a big catch. Yes, I need that. Okay, all right. One thing at a time here. How much is this game? This game is going to retail, I believe, for $24.99. I do not know if it will be 10% off for the first seven days on Steam. Uh, but I think it retails for $24.99. This game will have more content coming to it in the future after release on platforms. So after release, they are currently right now working on new content for the game too. Which is awesome. Oh yeah, we gotta get to bed. Hurry, get to bed. Hurry, 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 hurry. Otto and his wife just rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah, I, 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 I 100% feel that. I don't know, Otto just seems very arrogant. And his wife just seems like something is stuck up in there. <laughs> That's just it, right there. Let's go is it time for bed? It is time for bed. Maybe his wife is an alcoholic and he wants it to shut down to protect her. That's a... I can see it. But she's a teacher, though. She's the only teacher in town. Does make up for a lot of good conversations. Summon small things. We have one day remaining for the summon small things a potion. This will be the rest of our wheat that we need. Thank you very much. I need to go to the general market today or the general store. Sorry. Grab some more seeds of something. Uh, give the wheat to Kim today as well. As well as well. There we go. Water and potatoes. You can make hexes in the game. They are all for auto. <laughs> <laughs> is this something that could be played on Steam Deck? Mine just shipped yesterday. Um, I do not know if this game is Steam Deck verified, and I'm not sure on that. Um, I have not read into anything of it being Steam Deck verified. Uh, so that's that's a good question. Maybe in the future it might be, but um, when released, I am not 100% sure. I can't imagine it won't be in the future because this game would be you know, really good on, on the Steam Deck. Let's see here. So we got that. Uh, let's go and obviously... Let's go and turn in our quests. Being a teacher, in my experience, doesn't make them less likely to be an alcoholic. Was a common issue at my high school and uni? Yeah, same. Our English teacher, dude, he would pass, like, he would fall asleep all the time in class, and then someone, like, went into his drawer behind his desk and just saw, like, a big bottle of whiskey and big bottle of bourbon, well, big bottle of rum, sorry, and things like that. Look at her. I need you to open your store today, sweetheart, but what are you doing? Are you doing some yoga? Miss Lena? Thank goodness I was born here and Otto can't make me introduce myself to everyone. Who is the time? I don't know who has the time. I will tell you that. <clears throat> Do you open today on Thursdays? You are closed on Thursdays. Of course you are. The day I need you the most, you are closed. F. Hey, Kim. Got your wheat for you. I have the wheat you wanted. Better get that meatless grinder going. Or, uh... Wh whatever you use to make Satan. I G. Oh, yes. Give me a day to make it, then drop by my store for some fresh seitan. And in the meantime, fair wages for fair work. Six hundred freaking dollars? This is definitely going to get me where I need to go with rebuilding the ranch. That was massive. Holy crap. Well, thank you, Kim. You make a lot of money here at the butcher shop, don't you? So, is the recipe so good I'll be satan the back? Well, if it's dad jokes you're after, try Parker's workshop. But, yes, the seitan is delicious. Here, try it. Uh, and she gives me Thanks. food? 
I so, oh, sorry, Satan. Angus, and he'll be giving me vital wheat gluten from now on. If you're ever cooking and you want to sub in Satan for meat, I'll sell you more. Noted. I hope Thomas likes the Satan too. I guess we'll see. Um, you are incredible. <laughs> you are incredible. That is plain out. You are incredible. So we have enough money now for the ranch hand. We just need wood, stone, and, and iron ingots and, and grind that out a bit. Which we probably will do right now. If I can find Shelby on the beach over here, that would be great. I could turn in that quest for him and all that. Kim knows fair wages. Absolutely. Uh, hello, kitty cat. I will speak with you today. Here, kitty kitty. They should do a first person, but also the option to have standard third person. They did first person in this game. That would be like, uh, <laughs> that'd be kind of intense with like faces. Like when you talk to people, like you just see their big ass face. <laughs> yeah, Kim does pay more better than Otto though. Satan, say, see, Satan is not Satan. The first is far tastier. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the blueberries are ready. Very good. There we go. Get some blueberry action. If you need blueberries, come up to the lighthouse. This is where it's at. I had a grade 11 teacher literally waste three months of school time talking about doing drugs and hallucinating for staying awake for three days straight and failed me for 2% of a pass grade? Ay, ay, ay. Ay. She's a fair customer. Hey, Thomas, how you doing? Is it just you on your farm, Thomas? Sure is. My dad passed around the same time as your grandpa. And my mom moved in with my sister near the resin milk water. Staying here was too painful for her. I can't believe King of Retail full release does not have Steam Cloud saves. You've been like you've been asking for Steam Cloud saves for a long time on that game too, which honestly it should have. It should have Steam. Like they need to implement that now. <laughs> I think that game would be good on the go. Absolutely. Here we go pick up our little things here. There we are. All right, so we're gonna grind for a little bit of wood. Grind for a little bit of. Oh, let's grab some of that. Thank you. Grind for a little bit of wood. Grind for a little bit of uh. What is it? Uh, stone, iron, things like that, right? Probably would make this a lot easier and a lot faster if I had a uh, better pickaxe. Or sorry, better regular axe. Yeah. But we're going to need uh, food as well. Can't get any food right now. Can't make any food recipes because I don't have any recipes. I was hoping to get some at the market, general market today, but that didn't work out. <clears throat> Kim's voice actor is also in Destiny 2. Is that, res is that, is that really? Yeah. That's awesome. Here we go. We can get away with another wood. Come on. Come on, Tara. There you go. Good job, Tara. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see. Let's see if I have anything in store here. I might. Let's see. Let's go to the cook thing. To the, to the yes, this. Uh, I do not have rice for sushi. I do not have rice for risotto. Risotto. I do have carrots and fish for this, though. Yes, and actually, yes. I could use carrots. I could use cauliflower. I could use... Okay, let's use cauliflower and oysters. That doesn't sound... Well, doesn't sound too bad, I guess. <laughs> we'll make some fish stew. And let's go for a jar, I guess. And do that with more cauliflower. There we go. This is going to help us when we go down to the mines as well. Some lobster, baby. Lobster and cauliflower. Not too bad. I, I'll do the carp. I'll probably use all this fish. We'll do carrots on that one. Cool. Oh, we can make a restorative... A restorative... Restra restorative tea. Thank you. I will make two. There we go. Let's talk to Grandma while we're here. Hello, Grandma. Did you know I grew up in the city, too? Oh, this farm was my Aunt Vivian's place. Oh, she was a firecracker, that one. 
ran it all on her own. Mm -hmm. She never did marry. Said she had no use for a husband. <laughs> I think she left a lot of broken hearts in her wake, though. Very well. Very well. Hey, Kemba Michelle, how you doing? Good to see you again. Thank Kemba you. Michelle became a member. Thank you for the two months. Thank you very much for the two months. I appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. You excited for this game to release tonight? I know, right? A lot of we're all. I'm super excited for everyone to get their hands on this game. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fun. Um, yeah, super excited. And I'm interested to see which uh, direction people take too. What are you doing out here, Natalia? Like uh, directions as in like who they marry, who they rather give paper to, this or that, that or this. You know. Hello, Natalia. Hi, Tara. I hope you don't mind me hanging around here. Not at all. Hey, where'd you get that hammer? Oh, it was my great-grandfather's, but it was kept for many years by... I guess we'll call her a friend of the family. Wish I had it when I was younger to fend off bad dates. Hmm. My trial won't help my love life. Even Sophia couldn't make us matches. Dating is the worst. I kind of agree. Well, I, I don't know. Yesterday, I celebrated... Well, we didn't really celebrate, but yesterday was the 19th of September, which means yesterday was uh, 11 years Danielle have, and I have been together. We started, we were a couple in 2011 of September 19th. So I haven't dated in a long time, but I would say it's probably the worst. <laughs> Dating is terrible, and being engaged to the wrong person is even worse. Being engaged yeah, to the wrong I person. Oh, I heard shit, from dude. from someone that you were engaged before. Well, Aye. a lot of folks come here looking to start over. You'll work things out. I'll admit, I gave up on finding love long ago due to my poor luck. But ever since I came here, my luck's been looking up in other ways. Maybe it's foolish, but I'm feeling hopeful. <laughs> So now we are a casual friend with Natalia. Oh, very good. I think she's our first casual friend. Thanks, Natalia. Very cool. I couldn't find Shelby. Didn't even find Shelby on the beach. She's probably out in the forest now. <laughs> um, yeah. You know what? I'm going to head back to the forest, see if I can find Shelby there, and then I'll probably come back. And then tomorrow I need to buy seeds. I need to buy seeds. Absolutely. I'm missing out on my seed game here. Hmm. Is this game going to be on your uh, game store? It is not going to be on my game store. Not available for me. <clears throat> oh, look at grandma already getting her going on there. Hey, Francis. If your grandma is anything like my abuela, she abuela. won't let you forget to eat. Abuela took offense if we didn't eat at least one full plate whenever we came over. Oh. One time, my sister's boyfriend said he wasn't hungry. Abuela talked such trash about that poor boy that she dumped him the next week. <laughs> uh, I like Francis. From what I've seen, dating looks awful. This is what dating is right here. See this? Right there? This is what dating is. This is how you date in 2022. You say, swipe left, swipe right. Thank you. One of the most like judgmental things of all time. <laughs> That's how people uh, narrow it down nowadays. They read uh, like a two sentence bio and then they look at three of your pictures and they're like, yeah, this person is not a match for me. Sorry. I will say I, I uh, never got to experience nor do I want to never got to experience the uh, the Tinder world or the Bumble or whatever the frick those kids use nowadays. What do they use? The, the, I never, that, that stuff wasn't around. I'm all I could eat. I, that stuff wasn't around when I was, uh, single and mingling. Swiping is how I found my wife. Hey, you know what? Swiping is how my, uh, good friend, uh, found his fiance. We were in Florida, and he swiped left and right. She was in Florida at the same time. She didn't live in Florida. Uh, she was just there. He didn't live in Florida. We lived in California, obviously. We were there visiting for a week and a half, and he swiped left and right, found out she lived in Ohio, and then she found out he lived in California, and uh, 
They started dating long distance, worked out about a year and a half later, two years or so. Uh, they moved to Tennessee. Now they live in Ohio. And now he works for Google. <clears throat> and I'm not saying like Danielle and I didn't meet online because technically we did, but we didn't meet through like a Tinder thing. We met, like she found me on Facebook. She dropped into my DMs on Facebook. I had no idea who she was. She said she only knew of me and she heard a lot about me because my friends were mutual friends with her friends. And so she would always hear my name come up. And then she found me on Facebook, stalked me, DM'd me, and the rest is history, baby. Today is the last day. Oh, it's raining. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. And the honey is almost honeyfied. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good indeed. Love that. This should be done soon, right? One hour, I guess. So since it's raining, I can get kind of a head start on a little bit of cutting and, and stoning. <clears throat> oh, shoot. I tried for years in the end. Uh, in the end, I fell for a new classmate in university. Moving in together next month. Oh, very good. Very good. Love to hear that. My wife didn't um, initially uh, like me when we first met. She found me obnoxious on our first encounter. I know, shocking. Everybody likes me, right? <laughs> oh, that's, I love that. There we go. We're going to be using some food today, too. I doubt most people can beat how I met my fiance of six and a half years. We met on Roblox. I'm all I could eat some food to recover. What? You met on Roblox? Now that, I yeah, I will have to agree. Nobody can... Uh, can beat you on that one. <laughs> Roblox of all things. My brother met his like uh Well, never mind. I'll I'll I'll, I'll save that for another day. <laughs> Isn't this on Switch today? Yes, it is. Uh it's just not released yet. It will be released soon. In like maybe a couple hours hour or so you won't find it on the coming soon it will be released on Nintendo eShop when it is uh, live hmm. any plan for going to the mine today maybe not directly to the mine today uh, but I will go to the mine at least uh, tomorrow if anything because I got to get those iron but right now, I'm just going to get as much stone as I can here. I think I'm going to use up all my food today, too. There we go. Hey, Craiger, how you doing? Hope you're doing good, Craiger. Can we hear Danielle's side of the story? Absolutely. Well, she she probably will be here during the stream. She's right now. There's a... There's like... She, today was supposed to be her day off, but she had to go in on her day off because corporate is in town today. So she should be home soon, but bad things are happening right now. <laughs> but yeah, if she comes, if she's here before the stream ends, she can, uh, she can, she can go for the... For the... Uh, you can hear that side of the story. There we go. Almost done. And then we need to go to uh, the general store. The general store. I should probably go there before they close, right? Probably. <laughs> My brother met his wife of five years on Omega. Oh shoot, dude, that's a that's a crazy one. That's that's a that's a spicy one, dude. That's a spicy one, Omega. Really? That's that's interesting. One of my lady friends asked me a long time ago to marry her, and I'm like, 
Did you say yes or did you say no? <laughs> I've done the dating scene. Now I just, uh, I ju now I just, wait. <laughs> I have done the dating scene. Now I just stayed to be uh, being single. It's cheaper. That I, I mean, you're not wrong there. <laughs> it was funny. Um, there was a friend, a friend of ours. Their kids are like in high school. Well, uh, yeah, like they're like junior, senior in high school, right? And uh, one of the sons has like this girlfriend, this new girlfriend that he's been going with for like months now. And his uncle says, uh, what do you, you know, what, what are your big plans? His, their uncle is very well off, like wealthy. And so they're like, you know, he's like, what do you want for Christmas coming up this year? And he says, uncle, I don't want anything for Christmas, really. All I want is for you to pay for my girlfriend's Christmas gifts. <laughs> That's all he wanted. I was like, oh, my God. Hey, Lena. At the till again. Well, I have to be. Since my dad retired a few years ago, it's just me running this place. Parker helps when he can, but he has his workshop. Sometimes I pay Sebastian to help me restock the shelves if he wants new grip tape for his skateboard. But otherwise, it's all me. Did I see the Dinkum Q&I livestream update soon, but not no date yet? Um, I thought there was a update, or I thought there was a date. I thought it was like today or something. I thought, is, didn't it say that in the Discord or something rather? I don't know. Was it today? I could have swore it was today. I posted it in the Discord, though. <clears throat> I would like some seeds. I don't even know what to get, actually, seed-wise. Um, I feel like getting a little bit of everything would be fine. Rice, sugar, and flour, and eggs. Uh, let's just do rice for now. How much money do I have? Okay. Let's do eight bags of rice. And let's get three things of potatoes, I think. Thank you, Alina. Oh, Cameron. Hello, Cameron. Talk to Cameron more. See what he's all about. Oh, I meant to ask you, have you met Parker the carpenter yet? I changed he the really topic. helped turn the ruins of the old church into a wonderful new consciousness center for our members. Interesting. Okay, Cameron, I see you being that kind of person. Hey, Kai. What's going on, Kai? <clears throat> oh, brah. Oh, God. And how are you finding our fair town? I hope it's going easier for you than it did for me when I moved here. Why? What happened when you moved here? I was paddling back out after catching a bomb and riding it inshore. Uh, this noob dropped in on me and bam, uh, smashed right into my shoulder. Smash right into your shirt. At least the surfing was epic. You went back out. I stay on the beach. Um, you went back out? Or... Wow. I can't believe you ever found the courage to go back out on the water. <laughs> nah, bro. You gotta get back on the steep. Am I right? I never okay. doubted that I would get back on the waves. I just had to wait for Dr. Syed to give me the all clear. Then I started working for Sheila, who used to run this stand. Uh, when she pieced out to retire in Milkwater, I took Sheila. over. Glad you're here. Stop by anytime. Cool. All right. Well, I guess if that tells us anything, that tells us that Kai, not balls to the wall. That's a bad way to put it. But, um, will break himself. Well, he's, I don't want to say he's a, he's like a jock. He's not like a jock, but even if he hurt himself, he's like, no, no big deal. No, pa you know, he has all the passion to keep surfing. I don't know. It's hard to explain in my head, but I see where he's at. Hey, Damon. Do I have the potatoes for you? Hey, got my potatoes yet? So my fryer's in the bag and ready, but I'm like 50% uh, sure I won't give myself serious burns on my first try. Not yet, I'm afraid, but I'm growing them as fast as I can. Fryer? Your dad was or the air man fryer, bar, right? What did your mom do when your parents still lived here? She set up a pharmacy where Amira's clinic is now. Some folks didn't take her seriously at first, seeing that she wasn't from Fairhaven or a doctor. But you only disrespect Kaya and Timbu Haas once before you learn never <laughs> ever to do it again. <laughs> I want the pink ukulele. It looks pretty cool, no? Oh, Sophie. Sophia. Sophie. 
Hi, Sophia. Good job, Astera. Have you seen Juliet? She was going to help me, but I can't find her, and I'm running out of time. We are not going to abandon all our family traditions because Giacomo is gone. Oh. Um, is there any way I can help? I agree, Sophia. Family traditions are important. Let me help until Juliet arrives. Oh, that would be amazing. I I'm almost done. Just one or two more things to finish. Hey, Mom. Sorry I'm late. There you are. Well, I'm glad you made it back in time. Luckily for you, I had Tara to keep me company while I waited. Tara, will you join us? Oh, no thanks. I should get back to the farm. Good night. <laughs> Very good, very good. So I, it seems like Sophia does have kind of sort of like the rebellious child in a way, right? In a way. <clears throat> Let's see here. Let's see if we can go freaking find Shelby. What is this note here? Oh yeah, upgrading the farm. Let's go see if we can find Shelby after all. Oh wait, there's Kim. Let's talk to Kim. Hello, Kim. How are you? Thank you for the 600. Ah. <sighs> Every night I tell myself I should go hang out at Damon's bar, make more of an effort to, like, put myself out there. And almost every night I stay on the couch binge-watching some show I've already seen a million times. Sometimes I feel that way. Sometimes I get the anxiety where it's like, I don't want to start a new show, and I revert back to the old show that I watch, and I watch it over and over and over. Because I feel like if I start a new show, I have to watch every single second of it so that I understand it. I get a little anxious in that in that regards. Uh, the Point Break. Are we talking about Point Break, Patrick Swayze, Keanu Reeves? Because that's the only Point Break that I know exists. Not the new one. The new one doesn't exist. <laughs> The only the old one exists, like the 1980s or 90s uh, hit. We can grab some wood while we're out here too. Shelby, where are you, dude? You're like impossible to find. You need some wood though. Oh, there's the kitty cat again. Hello, kitty cat. There we are. Isn't there two point breaks? Isn't there a, uh, there's a point break classic and then there's like a, like a remake of the point break. Kind of like what they did with Red Dawn. Like they have the classic Red Dawn and then they have a, um, a remake of Red Dawn. There we are. Uh, Grandma, where are you going? Let me talk to you, Grandma. Don't forget to eat. Your father used to eat like a horse whenever he had to do farm chores. In fact, I made him a big batch of stew when he came to visit. Was it weird seeing Dad after all this time? Ah, he's still my boy. Always will be, even if he's in a temper. <laughs> he's stubborn. Just like his pa. I... I'm glad he came. And I could tell he was too. Then now you're here. What could be better? <laughs> yeah, it is like a comfort thing. <clears throat> That's why I'll watch Seinfeld over and over. Because, like, I know I'm not missing anything. Because I've seen it a hundred thousand times. But usually when I'm watching TV, I, I'm like, alright, it's time to, like, wind down for the night, you know, and... That's when I'm like twiddling on my thumbs or, you know, on my phone and and uh, my, my focus attention is not 100% on the TV and I don't want to miss anything unless I dedicate myself to focus, like focusing 100% on the TV. Because <clears throat> believe it or not, when you're not streaming or making videos, I'm like constantly looking and on Twitter, looking at companies, emailing companies and seeing, you know, here's our next move, you know. Which is like constantly on my mind. Let's plant these potatoes though. There we go. Plant potatoes. 
So now anyone that isn't familiar with this game, uh, when it rains, you don't have to water your plants for uh, like two or three days, which is awesome. So that's cool. I didn't know that until uh, we played the first time. <clears throat> Ooh, almost done with the honey. Almost done with the honey. Um, let's turn in. Actually, let's not turn in. Let's uh, see if I can make any more. Yeah, there we go. Gonna make some more foods. Make uh, avocado. You can make av Oh yeah, I guess avocado would work. Anything else I can make here potentially? I'll make one restorative because I want to keep the moon flowers for um, make five of those for like the potions and stuff. So I think we're gonna go to the mine tomorrow. Time for bed. Yes, let's go to the mine. The new point break is kind of okay, but the plot goes in too many directions and I cannot stay focused. I adored the animal names. They made my dad pun bone tickle. <laughs> You can never get into Seinfeld. <laughs> I can watch any episodes of The Simpsons, seasons one through eight, whole, doing something else, and still follow the episode. I know them all that well. Wow. That's crazy. And that's 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 a tough one because, like, the, uh, the Simpsons, like, se first few seasons, those are hard to get by, at least nowadays. <laughs> They're a little bit hard to get by. Yep, give me that. I would have loved to have been down here with our uh, spell on, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> Avocado gives me reflux. I If I eat more than a tiny amount, shame since it tastes great. Oh, dude, I could eat avocado like an apple. I love avocado. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, Seinfeld is a show about nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Seinfeld, that, I mean, the funny thing about Seinfeld is I that... I Hubby on Wizard 101. Hey! Thank you, Danielle Smith, for the uh, for the super chat. And you met uh, your husband on Wizard 101. That's awesome. Uh, Wizard 101, I never got to play Wizard 101. I never got to play, like, uh, what was that other game? I think it might be still a, a thing. Um... Like Toontown or something, rather. Uh, but Seinfeld is a show about nothing. And the funny thing is, is like in the show, there's episodes where uh, Jerry and George, um, they uh, get a deal because he's a comedian. It's basically about his life, about Jerry Seinfeld's life. He gets a uh, a deal to work a um, to work on it or to create a TV show. And they create in Seinfeld, they create Seinfeld. A show about nothing. It's hilarious. Find sand. That's something new. Hey, this looks like a key to the next level. Very cool. I don't know what this chest is all about. Can I actually unlock this chest with the keys? Hmm, it's locked tight. Wonder what opens the uh, this? No. Interesting. Do we have to find another key? I mean, I'm curious about this. Does anybody know how to unlock the chest? In my country, all the Simpson seasons. I don't know. I guess it'd be hard to ask people because most people <laughs> probably haven't played the game, but it's late. It's a later game thing. Okay, very good. Thank you. Not a lot of people play Apple Arcade games. <clears throat> so I will I will take it as that but level five here we are The avocado that grows in Jamaica is fantastic I just got done watching um, da Well Danielle and I we watched it. We watched the new special for the grand tour. Oh, that was pretty good when they're in uh, Scandin or they're uh, going through Europe's last 
uh, or Europe's only, or I think they said last or only true wilderness. And they started in Norway. My God. The beautiful, the beauty in Norway. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. They started in Norway, went through Sweden and all that. And it, they went through Europe. It was nice. It was a good, it was a good special. Okay, let's go ahead and get a little bit more food. Last bit of our food here. That mushroom risotto doesn't really hit, does it? <clears throat> yeah, show within a show when Jerry, Jerry and George do their own show. Exactly, it's so funny. And they're like, we need it. We need. They're like, we 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 gotta have someone. Um, they, they say, we need a we need an actor to play for Kramer. And Kramer says, oh, well, I'll play as Kramer. And they said, no, you can't play as Kramer. And he's like, but I am Kramer. So I, it's, it's, it's very, it's, it's very laxadelic. Uh, it's, it's simple comedy. That's what it is. It's not like, it, yeah, it's very simple comedy. There we go. Yes, six potatoes. All out of strength. Thank you for giving me a reason th not to study for ACLS, which is boring me. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. You're welcome. I have no idea what ACLS is. But thank you for the super chat, Darren. That was pre appreciative. Thank you very much. I was hoping I could get a little bit of food here. Thank you for that. Very kind of you. Very generous. Let's see if I can pull off one more food just so I can pick these potatoes. I didn't know you need energy to actually pick your crops. <clears throat> but that makes sense, I guess. Is the honey done? Oh, the honey's done. Oh, good. And we got beeswax. So we got honey and beeswax. Very cool. We got a couple quests done right now. That's nice. Grab the potatoes for uh, Mr. Damon. Plant the... No, I got no more seeds. Okay, take the potatoes to Damon. Let's take the potatoes to Damon. I legit only played this on Apple Arcade, didn't even finish it, and had to stop because I wanted to play it on PC. Maybe that witch weed. Anything on the beach? Any pearls? Anything like that? No? We have one pearl again. Oh, there's a shell. The conch shells are very important, too, for us. <clears throat> Wasn't the plot something where someone had to become Jerry's butler? Yeah, well, that was one of the episodes, yeah. They're like, uh... It was like a punishment for somebody. They're like, the judge, instead of sending him to prison, this random guy, instead of sending him to prison, we make him Jerry's butler. <laughs> it's like, all right. Hey, Kai, or Damon, this is who I need to talk to. Good to see you. Got your potatoes. Hey, got my potatoes yet? Yes, here you go. Thanks. I'm going to make slop chips the way my pa does with tomato sauce and vinegar. Here, take this for helping me out. Oh, my God. Only have fries for you. Uh, we got two bottles of wine. Well, thank you, Damon. I, 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 I'm, I'm liking Damon. I, I am liking Damon. He's good people. He's definitely good people. Hey, Natalia. How are you doing today? Oh, I can't thank you enough for fixing up the mine. What can I say? Dark caves are my happy place. Maybe I was a bat in my past life. <laughs> you should come by Damon's bar sometime. I'm usually the only other single gal there. <laughs> Advanced cardiac, cardiac life support. Very good. Very good. The bar's open. Oh, it's already 6 p.m. Oh, shoot. Kai, uh, who did I need to give the other stuff to? Oh, Violet. Oh, I wonder if she's still around. Uh, I'll do that in the morning, I guess. We are technically running on a no timetable because we don't know what the frick the date is today. Oh, Sebastian's always asking me for surf tips, but he still hasn't gotten in the water yet. I think the waves have him a little spooked. I'm gonna see if I can start him out with boogie boarding. Hey. Hey, Angus. How are you? Oh, I guess Vanessa. <laughs> 
Uh, Angus inside of Vanessa? Hey, Probably. Oh. Talia said you fixed up that broken mine entrance. You're a real whisk taker. Never mind. Oh, Angus. Angus is inside Vanessa. Excuse me, Angus. Thank you. Vanessa? Your father-in-law just taught me how to fish. But I bet you're an expert by now, huh? Well, not really. I get seasick, you see. You could Same. surf fish? Oh, I wouldn't want to risk hitting Kai. You never know when he might take a wave all the way into shore. You are terrible at excuses. You don't fish because you get seasick. That's a poor uh, excuse. You don't surf fish because you're afraid you're going to run into Kai on the ocean. Not one time in the history of surfing has anybody ever collided into each other. Strangers, at least. Not in competition. I'm not talking competition. I'm talking strangers. Jesus. She's full of excuses, isn't she? Hey! I heard you're the one to thank for the mine being fixed. This is so exciting. Oh, they love Maybe the mine being fixed. business will finally pick up some steam. Oh, he's happy about the gems. Very good. Did I talk to you, Dave? I didn't talk to you properly, though. So, how many IPAs do you have on tap? Just a few. Oh, an IPA well, sounds amazing. Be happy, but IPAs are a real drain pour, if you ask me. I probably will have an wow. IPA tonight. This really isn't the city. I got softball tonight, so. <laughs> tonight is softball night, and tonight is championship night. We are in the championship. If we win tonight, I might post in the Discord us being champions. But if we lose tonight, then I will not post anything. <laughs> See if Shelby's out on the beach in the evening time. No, nope. no Shelby. F me. Thanks, Shelby. Uh, we will deliver the honey to uh, is it Julia, Julia, Julia. I forgot her name. The spicy woman with a floral shop. We will uh, talk to her in the morning. And then we are almost done doing this. We just need more wood. We need more stone. We need more iron. Really, we need more wood is what it boils down to. Uh, yes. Am I ready for bed? You are ready for bed. Oh. Vanessa's father-in-law is uh, Bruno. Yeah, Bruno. Because that's Otto's uh, father. We suspect Shelby is part of the COVID, but we don't know. We suspect, though. There we go. There we are. There we go. Now, I think I need to water my plants. Yeah, we are speculating, of course. <clears throat> I guess I could take some of these flowers away, too. Maybe one of the flowers. Maybe I can give flowers to somebody. That'd be kind of nice, no? Maybe I could take one of these flowers from the back. We'd like to get more... Uh... Oh, God. We'd like to get more seeds, too. What is it? Sunday? Oh, probably they're not open on a Sunday. I'm going to take these flowers, maybe? Let's take those flowers. <clears throat> um yeah let's go talk to uh, our girl our gal miss julia juliet i forgot or i could be like just like nothing <laughs> i could be like way off on the name there oh my god everybody's closed on sunday yeah yeah, seems like everybody's... Where does everybody hang out on a Sunday? Probably church, right? <laughs> we, I think we've had this question before. Probably church. Let's go to the church and see. Shelby's home is my dream home. I know, right? Shelby's home is my dream home. Oh, my Lord. Uh, hello, Cameron. Can I ask you a question, Cameron? What happened to the church that used to be located where the consciousness center stands? You know, I never really asked. I get the sense that when the mine closed, a lot of workers moved off the island. Without much of a congregation, there was no one to pay tithes for its maintenance. Hmm. But past misfortunes can lead to new beginnings. That's what I believe. Otto is probably funding all this. 
Ain't no mountain high enough to keep me from reaching the pinnacle. Go, with logic in your minds and your eyes on the path. Oh, that, that was it? Okay, very well. Uh, <laughs> very well. Hello, Angus. How are you so, today? The other day, I asked Kim if I could buy a couple of pints of pig's blood. For what? Uh, you know, do I even want to know? To make my Seton family blood pudding recipe, of course. But they got all grossed out. What kind of butcher gets grossed out on blood? Maybe it's not so much the blood as the cooking it into a pudding on purpose. Hey, don't knock until you try <laughs> it. Anyway, they didn't have any to sell me since there's no ranch here anymore. It is interesting, no? It is interesting to see which characters are in church today. No Francis, but Angus. How's it going, Parker? Fine. I just had another parent-teacher conference with Vanessa. I get that my kids can be a handful sometimes, especially Finn. But aren't their antics pretty age-appropriate? Nowadays, it's all impulse control this, attention deficit that. Just seems some folks are quick to pathologize normal kid behavior, at least for certain kids. Okay, that sounds controversial. <laughs> that sounds really controversial. Okay. Well, hello there, Tara. I heard that you gave Damon a hand with his new happy hour promotion. I did. Yes. Um, I know I'm, I'm new here, but it's nice to help small businesses when I can. Exactly. Huh. I had rather hoped your farm would be a healthier influence on the community. You. Organic produce and the like. What are you talking about? Otto? My God. How dare he? Ugh. What's wrong, Natalia? The twins put bath bombs in my slack tub. Again. <laughs> I just finished cleaning it out from the last time. Okay. Vanessa, why are you not sitting next to your husband? What is this about? Have you been by Kai's stall? He always has interesting things to sell. Some people never leave the place where they were born. But Kai's always ready for his next adventure. Kai Williams has a good bit about his kid and his uh, uh, Ritalin uh, prescription. I don't know what I... I'm usually up to, up to date on Kat Williams as far as like comedy uh, specials, but... I saw he had like a... I saw he had a... Um, he had like a 15 minute segment in like... I think it was Snoop Dogg's... Um, Effing Around or something. Netflix special or something. He bopped auto with one of the wine bottles. I know, right? <laughs> Bam! Uh, give me this. Hi, kitty. I feel like being good to the cat will bring me good karma. Now I just gotta find uh, the flower lady. <clears throat> and give her her honey. Because I have honey for her. Give me a peanut. Oh, there's Amira. Hey, Amira. I ran into Natalia at the diner, and she asked me to vet her dating app profile. I did my best, but I don't understand why anyone bothers with dating apps. I've never used them. And even if I wanted to, they don't cater to queer women. See? The dating app, like, game. I guess if somebody was playing this game and they did not know the sexuality of Amira, now they would know. Maybe. A little bit. I mean, they should have actually gotten the... Um, they should have known when we first talked to Amira because she did hit on us the first time we ever talked to her. But never mind. I remember that you were really into the speech and debate club when you were in high school. You used to practice your talking points on me when you babysat. Oh, I remember that too. I thought about going to law school, but that would mean leaving Fairhaven for too long, and I just can't be separated from this place. Let me borrow the hammer so I can go visit the church real quick. <laughs> oh, there's a couple of windows that look too good. Finally, we found Shelby. <clears throat> hey, Shelby. I got some freaking mushrooms for you. $35. I ran around town. I spent all my uh, gas mileage. Just, like, spent all my gas trying to find you. Thanks for helping out, old Shelby. You're too kind. He has to be farseer. Uh, let me actually talk to you, though. Because we do have... 
Um, I do not want to sell these shells anymore, now that I know. Um, yes. I don't want to sell the conch shells. There's a lot of mandrake we have. We can sell them some seaweed. Haven't found out what's useful for seaweed. So we'll, we'll sell that for now. He's almost leveled up. That makes a difference. Maybe we can give him a couple of mandrakes. Maybe give him... Five... Seven. We'll give him half. We'll give him seven mandrakes. There we go. He's leveled up. Nice. So now... Um... Yeah, cool. Nice. Thank you, Shelby. How are you doing today, Shelby? I just sneezed. Uh, sorry. I'm still not used to being around this much pollen. Triggers my allergies. Don't go blaming the trees. They didn't knock you out of balance. Huh? Don't worry. You'll be set right soon enough. I remember playing, um... <clears throat> I remember playing Moonglow Bay. Anybody know Moonglow Bay? I have a full, complete series of Moonglow Bay. And I had people very upset with that game. Well, I have some people, not a lot of people. Some people were very s upset with that game. Because that was, like, one of the first games I played. Not, like, first games I played ever having it. But just, like, I had no idea about it until I played it. But in that game, you choose pronouns. And somebody was super upset about that. And I'm like, why does it matter? Does it affect you? It doesn't. It, whatever you want to be called, it doesn't change you. It doesn't change me. You know? <laughs> like, they were so offended. There's some person that was so offended because I started up Moonglow Bay, and in the first, like, two minutes, you have to pick pronouns. I was like, I don't even know. I don't even know if I responded to that person. That person's comment might still be there, but I just wanted them to, like, tell them to, like, politely F off. But that was before I ever started to, like, use the term politely F off. And now, you know, people want it on pajamas. <laughs> Still looking for our spicy lady. Our honeybee lady. Where is she at? Maybe she's at the beach. Let's go to the beach. Is it seaweed and sushi? I guess it depends. Uh, depends on how you get the seaweed done. Unless you get it soy wrapped, then it's not. <laughs> I was supposed to go back home for my family's Lunar New Year dinner a few weeks ago. My mom's side makes the whole thing out of everyone coming home. But I just, uh, I didn't want to deal with it this year. Very well. I'm not even going to talk to Cameron. He can politely F off it right now. Moonglow Bay is a pretty cool game. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool game. I really was impressed with it. Damon gonna come through here because I don't want to talk to Damon. It's it at first when it first released, they were, they had a little bit of issues, um, directing the player on how to do things and where to go and things like that, and then they made some updates to the game and then it kind of fixed, you know, some of those issues. But it's a pretty neat. It's a very good cozy game. A very good just cozy game. At me for ragging on Cameron, but I can't help it. I mean, look at his pants. He looks like he's about to go join a street gang in a Broadway musical. What? This is probably why you don't show up to church, huh? Damon. Hey, how's farm life treating you, city mouse? It's uh wearing me out, to be honest. Then don't forget to stop in at my place. I've been working on spring cocktail flavors. I know, right? It's like it's a new thing now. I was a beta detester for this game and decided to marry Kim. Oh, very good. Yeah, today, I don't know if I have to update my game or not. I might have to update my game for it to be... Uh, but when the game goes live, there will be new, uh, new uh, wedding outfits. That is awesome. I wonder if it's in my game yet or not. Not sure. I want to invent a 12-syllable pronoun that is much longer than anyone's name just to troll people. Dude, that would be hilarious. And then, like, if they say I'm not going to call you that, say, like, then I'm not going to talk to you. <laughs> Alright. 
Let's see if I can... I don't know if I can get away with this. I don't think I have enough energy. Oh, I don't. I have a bottle of wine. That helps with magic. And I will not do. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Oh, hello, Natalia. Go inside. Let's see if we can cook something. Let's see if we can cook something. I wanted to buy seeds today, but the shop was closed. I'll craft two of those. Mm. <laughs> Very good. Uh, I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy. <sighs> Was that person who had issues named Theodore? No. <laughs> I don't even remember what that person's name was. I don't know. It's on. I think it's on episode one. I don't know if it's on. It's if it's on there. It's on episode one of Moon Glow Bay. But I don't know if I just like banned him from the channel for like being ignorant. I have no idea. Or if his or if I deleted his comment or something. I don't even know what happened. Or I just left it. I can't remember. Ooh, honey's gonna come very soon again too. Awesome. <laughs> Wine makes people more attractive. It's magical. <laughs> facts, dude. Absolutely facts. Okay, well, how much do we need now? We need... We don't need that much. Wood, stone, and the ironing that we can do at Natalia's. So let me go for a little bit of wood. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into town. Give the honey to the honeybee. I call her honeybee. I don't know. I'm just calling her honeybee right now. I know, sleeping in her bed with her high heels on, right? It's kind of crazy. Well, they're not high heels, but they're heels. Heel boots. Otto is a Theodore. You're, you're onto something there, I will say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed the piece of wood right there. The many talented Mr. Jefferson. I'm surprised YouTube let you, like, have a name that long. How does that show up in a search engine? How does that show up in the YouTube search engine? The many talented Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> I think I can cut down this tree. Yeah, we can give we can give uh, Theodore credit. Otto might be worse than uh, Theodore. That's incredible, Phoenix. That's like cold turkey. My God. That is, I can't imagine that being any slightly, like anything remotely easy to do. You're closed on back-to-back -back days, Violet? Violet, you're turning Violet. Violet, where the hell are you? Where do you stay at your day off? Are you at home? Are you chilling? Damn it. Go to the market, general store. Oh, wait, it's Monday. Isn't people not open on Mondays? Oy, oy, oy. This town is so confusing. Hello, Lena. How are you? If only Dad could see the work you're putting in on Hazel's farm. He and Thomas used to help her with the harvest after your grandfather passed away. She'd always tell them she didn't need any help, but they wouldn't take no for an answer. Wait, wait, wait. I enjoy your content so much that no, no, when I say... So much that no, when I say, oh my God, I can't say it without saying the way you do. Wait, 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 what? I'm so confused. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> I'm a little confused on that one. My bad. Uh, I need more seeds, I think. Green beans are only three. Why is it only three? 
I am tempted to use a little bit of extra stuff, like a little bit of flour we can use now. And we have a little bit of money. I, we got to stay in the thousand realm here. That's the only thing. I don't want to buy eggs because I feel like we're going to get eggs anyways. How long did these take? Four days? Get a couple of green beans. Maybe a few. Maybe five. Five green beans. There we go. Thank you, Lena. <clears throat> is this the full game? Yeah, this is the full game. I'm going to try to find Violet as much as I can. Oh, that's Sophia, but I want to talk to Sophia. Hey, Sophia. If Giacomo was from Italy, what was he doing here 15 years ago? Oh, he was a friend of the Dells. Marcus met him on a trip to Italy. Funny, Giacomo never mentioned why Marcus was visiting, but I guess you don't need a reason to visit Italy. Okay. Very well. Hey, Francis. Not working today, as everyone else. Have you been to Violet's flower shop yet? I have, and I can't I find her. There is someone else in town who really cares about beauty for the sake of beauty. I'm trying. Do you know where she's at, Francis? I'm trying to find this lovely lady. Hey, there's Kai. Hey, Kai. As far as I could tell, it doesn't show up in the search engine. Ouch. Right in the views. <laughs> hey, hey, you missed an epic session this morning. I got Sebastian to stand up on his board in the whitewater. Really? That's awesome. Ah, now he's just got to stop bending at the waist like a noob. Did he just call somebody a noob on surfing? That's a weird thing to say. Oh, look, a banana. I don't think any surfer dude has ever called another surfer dude a noob. But this is uh, this is something new that we're coming into. Let's do a little bit of fishing, yeah? Got a cricket. I'm assuming this takes energy, too. One thing I like about this game is the easy fishing and the selective fishing. Like, you can, you can choose who you want to catch. I like that. I will do that. I would be a total new. I think I would go wakeboarding before I would ever go surfing. <laughs> hey, Adi, how you doing? Uh, no, there is no male character. No male character. <sighs> Got one. Hey, Stacy, managed to catch a stream after so long. Thank you for making me spend money on so many games. Also, did you know what time the game is coming out on Switch for the UK? Should be there. Uh, 11 p.m. Uh, UK on the Switch. Should be. A rare catch. Oh, really? A mackerel. Interesting. I didn't know that was a rare catch. I have no energy. So, yeah, it does use, use energy. Very good. <clears throat> oh, my God. The goddess of herself. Yes, my lady. I have your honey. Did the bees make any honey yet? Yeah. Bee hold. Bee hold. <laughs> See? I told you they wouldn't sting you if you stepped up nicely. Appreciate uh -huh. that. Local honey is super popular. Sebastian drowns his pancakes in the stuff. <laughs> and not in maple <laughs> syrup? That's a breakfast crime. That I know. is. Weird, right? <laughs> but our mom used to eat pancakes like that, too. My guess is he does it as a way of remembering her. Did your mom pass away? No. Um, I don't think so. Listen, here's some more tulip seeds. Oh. Sorry, should I not have... The more you plant, the more likely you are to attract bees. A win-win. Oh, well, that's interesting. Interesting backstory. She doesn't know what happened. I, I want to know more about her mom. Um... Who puts honey on their pancakes? No, 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 no. That, no. No, no, no. You don't put honey on your pancakes. You don't drench it in honey. You drench it in syrup, right? Hey, Violet. Can I ask you about Marisoft's getting to know you game? It's so creepy, right? My dad totally didn't make people do that when he was mayor. Otto made a lot of changes since he took office, but he's mayor at least until this fall. For better or worse. Oh. 
I see. <laughs> I had meant to say that when, since watching you, when I say, oh my god, I say it like you do. <laughs> I see. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I didn't even notice a little hum she does when she fishes. I gotta listen to that. Hey, Glitter, how you doing? Glitter and Glam. See if I can talk to Natalia real quick. See, you talked about the, these iron ores and things. Hey, Shorty, you're looking forward to playing this game, Shorty? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, yes, Natalia. I need to talk to you about some iron ores, please. Violet said you got some honey for her. Oh, I feel for her and Sebastian. My dad's job took him on the road most of my childhood, too. Well, they've got each other, at least. I put honey on my pancakes because honey is more plentiful than maple trees. I wonder... I would have to, I would have to try the honey, honey on pancakes. That sounds pretty good. It does sound pretty good, though. Yes, I need you to... Um, make some iron ingots for me. I need 10 altogether. Can I just make 10 right now? How much would that cost me? $50? Yeah, I got it. Hooray! How much does a shovel cost? 20 ingots. Uh, we might be able to pull this off. Actually, we won't be able to pull this off. Okay, so let's see. Where does that put puts us on our uh, to-do list? We have the stone. We have the iron. We just need the actual wood. That's it. Cool. Whoops, I did not mean to click on you, Natalia. Now we just need 20 wood. Hey, uh, you. Thanks for subscribing. Hey, Millie. How you doing? Hey, Swamp Dog. Swamp Dog says, hi, all. Any no-no what time this goes on the eShop? Uh, should be 11 p.m. Should be 11 p.m., yeah. Let's see here. I am curious about moving this around a little bit. Maybe adding more flower boxes in here or some type of box. I know we can uh, at least plant. Oh, I can't plant without no energy. Let's go inside and see if we can cook our cook ourselves a meal. Hey, Jules. How you doing, Jules? How is this game going in regards to your expectation? Oh, it's going well. It's going well. I'm having a, I'm having a good time with it. it. It's a very nice, cozy, relaxing game that has a great story, good backstory to it. I'm having a good time with it. Absolutely. I would like to do the witting and yeah, the witting. I don't want to make the mushroom risotto because I feel like it's a waste because it doesn't give us that much benefit. I don't want to do that because I don't want to, like, get rid of our moon flowers because we're going to need moon flowers later on. Is there a different fish I have? I don't have any different fish. F. So that's all I can really make is just that one thing, fish stew, that I probably will save until tomorrow. Oh. <gasps> Should I go to bed? This game will be $24.99, yes. Uh, I don't know if it will be 10% off on Steam for the first seven days. Usually games nowadays do 10% off for the first seven days. I doubt eShop or Nintendo will do a discount like that. So it might have a discount on Steam. Maybe. Maybe. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. No. Plant. Green beans. Hey, oh. Damn it. Hey, Tori. How you doing? Put another green bean. <clears throat> My grandmother used to make, uh, used to use something uh, called sorghum sorghum on her pancakes what is sorghum on her pancakes what the heck is sorghum sorghum on pancakes is good too what is sorghum what is that bit weird how there is no shower slash toilet in the game everyone must stink <laughs> Beeswax and honey. More beeswax and honey. Refreshing my steam because I'm impatient. <laughs> um, they will, uh, if you if you guys have Twitter, first of all, follow me on Twitter. Second of all, 
if you have Twitter, um, they will uh, tweet um, right when it goes live. So uh, they will announce it on Twitter as well right when they go live. So that's another way that you could be notified when it goes live too. Uh, we got to get wood though. Our mission is wood. We have a little bit of food. Maybe I can go uh, fishing today too. On Switch, it's going to be $24.99 USD. $24.99 USD. Could, could be different based on your country, of course. But $24.99 USD on Switch and Steam. We might need to go to the forest. Hell. Let's go to the beach and then we'll wrap over to the uh, to the forest. It's basically Milo, 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 kind of sweet seed like stuff. But if you mash it up, it makes a paste. The only Milo or Milo, however you pronounce it, I call it. I I pronounce it Milo, but um, the only Milo I know is like uh, iced tea Milo. <laughs> Oh, you know what sounds good? It's banana bread. I've done banana plus honey plus peanut butter on pancakes. Surprisingly good. But uh, that sounds good. Honey. Um, by the way, thank you, Marcus, for subscribing. Honey and peanut butter is a good mixture. Uh, growing up, uh, when we couldn't like afford a lot, uh, we would not have... like If we didn't have... Like, if we wanted to make P P B P B and J's, right? Peanut butter and jellies. And we didn't have any jelly. We would substitute the jelly out for, like, um, for, for syrup. So we would have peanut butter syrup sandwiches. And then, like, sometimes you would, like, get some white bread. Right? You get some white bread and then dip it in the Kool-Aid. That's a sugar sandwich. A sugar sandwich. Save my energy for the forest. Go get more trees. Hey, Sean. How you doing, Sean? Yeah, the forehead out in its glory. Yes, the forehead is out in its glory. Isn't it nice? I got to make sure I'm getting the right tan off of my monitor. <laughs> yeah. I would love to talk to everybody, but I have no time. I need to go to the forest right now. <clears throat> Please don't talk about food. I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> we used it for chicken feed and used it to eat ourselves too growing up on the farm ranch here in South Texas. Speaking of Milo, of sor I think I'm pronouncing it right. Sorghum, right? I used to have peanut butter and uh, Vegemite. What the heck is Vegemite? What's Vegemite? Am I, gonna, am I gonna have some good luck out here for wood? I guess so. I said peanut butter and Vegemite. Okay, let's go ahead and actually uh, eat some food real quick. Local honey, yeah, local honey. Absolutely. We actually had a, um, we went to a wedding in June, I believe. And the mom of the bride, she ran, she runs like her own little honey business. And they gave out, uh, like, she gave out her, like, personal honey jars. Um, like, as, like, gifts and stuff, which was kind of cool. Hey, Yurok, thank you so much for 14 months. Wow. 14 months, Yurok. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate that. That is awesome. 14 months. That is a long time. Very long time. Oh, what a good girl. I want to get this cat's heart all the way up. Just because I want to see what happens. <laughs> Vegemite is awesome. It's Australian peanuts. Is that what it is? Hello, Violet. 
Has Damon hit on you? Yes, or maybe no. Have you not met him? I, um, uh, not yeah, hit on us. Cute, so it won't oh. be long if he hasn't yet. Oh. I do like, I do like Damon. I do like Damon. Uh, excuse me. Let me, like, talk to you as well. Have you ever lived anywhere other than Fairhaven? Not for very long. I did commute back and forth to the city for a year, though. I was taking a business management class. The city wasn't for me, but it did give me the chance to meet Parker. So I'm grateful to it for that. I agree. I prefer fresh brew ice sweet tea. I, I do, too. I prefer, like, making a big, uh, big jar of tea, setting it out in the sun, making some sun tea. Oh, that's good stuff right there, yeah. That's an OG member right there. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing good. How, how are you doing, Yurok? Hope you're doing well. Let's see if we can make a little bit more money. Or not money, uh, food here. Potentially. Could make more sushi. I, I don't think uh, sushi is actually more viable than, uh, than fish stew. I want to save the mackerel though, because this is a rare, right? A rare catch. So I'd rather sell it to Bruno, maybe. We don't talk about Bruno. Uh, let's just make five risottos, I guess. We'll make five risottos. And we'll go to sleep. We're basically kind of grinding out our wood situation here. Am I ready for bed? National drink in my country, like your description, it like a chocolate wheat. I will start gifting things. Yeah, I will start gifting things when I start to get more different kinds of things. I wanted to, to gift um, a pearl to Francis, but that didn't work out very well. Um, ooh. Are the potatoes ready? Are the potatoes actually ready? I love that the potatoes are already done. Hooray. Give me some green beans as well. This will help. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> totally feels like something will happen if you feel its heart. I know, right? That's what I'm thinking too with the cat. Vegemite is something you would like or hate. Vegemite was like Marmite. Sun tea is so nostalgic. My grandmother would do that every summer. Yeah. Especially like even like here, like it gets so hot during the summertime that it's just perfect to have some sun tea. Absolutely. Very good. Very good indeed. All right. We need a little bit more wood little bit more wood we are set in stone not rosetta stone but we are set in stone <laughs> make another trip out to the forest possibly do some fishing today too <clears throat> oh whoops in the caribbean milo is something different it's like a meal replacement cocoa flavor powder that goes in milk oh i did not know that Hey, Natalie, how are you? How are you doing today? Angus makes the best bread. I bet he does. If he gives me a hard time for always leaving the first slice in front of the door of my house. Mm -hmm. And why do you do that? Oh, it's just an old superstition my dad taught me. It's supposed to appease the house elves. Of course, I, I don't believe in any of that. <laughs> Not really. Messenger Cameron says that the first step in climbing the mountain of consciousness is leaving behind old beliefs that no longer serve you. <laughs> Angus is right here, too. Hey, Angus. What are you doing Sometimes in here? Sometimes Francis invites me to join him for a romantic beach stroll when he goes searching for pearls. But just look at me. I don't tan. I burn. Why can't you guys do it at night? You guys can do it at night, Angus. Pepsi's watered-down version of Coke. Okay, so Pepsi and Coke. All right, so I've had this conversation a lot, but I grew up in a Pepsi household. I moved out as an adult and became a Coke connoisseur. Now, Pepsi hits good. 
Pepsi hits good for the first two hits, right? The first two hits, Pepsi's good. After that, Pepsi does not last. <laughs> um, and it just you you lose the you you lose the enjoyment of Pepsi the further it down it goes down in the can, right? Coke, I feel like lasts longer as an enjoyment throughout its uh, throughout its drinking, if that makes sense. Hello, Otto. If I were you, I wouldn't linger around Shelby's campsite. Why? He doesn't seem dangerous. He isn't. He isn't. But who would choose to live in those woods? Arnie Palmer? Yeah, that's an Arnie Palmer. Half iced tea, half lemonade. OP. It's okay if Shelby lives in the woods. It is his choice. I want to give her a tulip. Maybe she'll like that. Let's see. So, Lena says you knew each other when you were kids? Yeah. Well, she was a bit older. She would babysit me from time to time. I have a hard time picturing Lena as a kid. She's always so self-possessed and in charge. Oh, you mean running the general store? Yep. And, uh, you know, taking care of her kids. I love the animations. I love the their, like, expressions. Can I gift you... I wanted to get... See, you can't really give them anything. The only thing I could really give her is a wine bottle or a mushroom risotto. And I'd rather save my wine bottle for someone I'm interested in. Let's go to the forest. We gotta get more wood. More wood. More wood. Actually see you. Hello. Hi, how are you? Lena's always stressed out when the kids get out for summer break. But I like it when they hang around my shop. And Finn keeps his hands off the power tools when I tell him to. Most of the time. Vegetable patch. If I did a vegetable patch, you'll need to clear the area before. Okay, okay. So he wants us to actually clear areas and stuff. Very well. Thank you, Parker. Shelby! I see the doctor around here a fair bit, looking for medicinal herbs. Reminds me of my mother. Was your mom a doctor, Shelby? Not formally as such, no. But she was a healer, all the same. <laughs> milk and Pepsi. There you go. Do milk and Pepsi. I mean, nobody goes and orders a, a a Jack and Pepsi. They go and order a Jack and Coke. But yeah, milk and Pepsi. It's like a Pepsi milkshake. Bunch of peanuts rolling around here. Yeah, the truth is, is that that's what the ingredients were in. The ingredients of Coke was Coke <laughs> at one time or another. Who knows? It still might be. I don't know. <laughs> I think upgrading our axe is going to be our best bet. But we have no more options for any more wood for today so we'll go to the beach and we'll do a little bit of fishing we're very very close how close are we we're only uh eight pieces of wood away from completing it and then we're done now i think you're right on that about the uh the uh drug use of the coke back in the day hello mira Every time I think I've finished all my patient's insurance paperwork, I find more. Our insurance system is almost bad enough to drive me out of this field. Mm, almost. You seem like you're having a stressful day. Would you like a bottle of wine? Oh, thanks. That's it? That, that, that's it? Is oh, thanks? I've had this wine since 1978, and you say, oh, thanks? Very well. <laughs> oh, a little cutscene. Love this. Oh, it's Damon. New girl. Want to join me for coffee? Yeah. Sophia's slop chips are lecker. Sophia's slap chips are lecker? What the heck is lecker? L-E-K-K-E-R. What is lecker? I've never heard of that before. 
Um, sick of late nights. Um, got anything stronger? A little late for coffee? Oh, this is the coffee conversation, no? Um. Uh, let's go get anything stronger. You got anything stronger than coffee? It's already been a day. <laughs> Not here, my bruh. But, uh, he called you can me come a bruh. Bar later if you like. Uh, I'll be honest. I'm getting sick of the night out life. I remember when I was a kid getting ready for school in the mornings while my pa snored on the couch. He used to sleep there so he wouldn't wake my mom up when he got in. I don't want my kids to have that kind of relationship with me, you know? Not that I'm ready for kids, but, you know, someday. I understand. Well, thanks for letting me ramble. I like that. Okay, cool. Nice little thing there. Um, yeah, nice little hit there. Hang on, can I talk to you again, Damon? Sit down. <laughs> All the small business owners here get a discount at my place. But Sophia gets a double discount. Why? It's my way of paying her back for all the free food she makes me take. Oh, nice. I like him. He's good business savvy, too. My good man, would you like a wine? Will you like this? You don't want this. I'll take it. Okay. Wait, lecker is a is a widely used term? Is that right? Juliet is a prodigy on that guitar. I swear. I, I know what you're thinking. Sophia, you're her mama. You have to say that. But Juliet really does have a gift. Oh, maybe someday she'll let someone other than me hear her play. <laughs> She's very like mom, right? She's always worried about her kids. At least kid. All right, let's go to um, let's go fish something. Yeah, let's go fish something. Fish, fish, fish. I know he was going good before he said bruh. Right? I don't think she wants to hit. Like, I've never in my entire life have ever called Danielle bro or bruh. So, I, <laughs> you know, it's going good till you said, bruh. Mm -hmm. No. There's a bottle that I just missed because I thought it was attached. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want the bottle. Can I get the bottle? Is that possible? I've never tried to get the bottle before. Yeah. I got the bottle. Holy crap! Hang on, this this is a fish. A peanut roll recipe. It's some kind of recipe. A peanut roll recipe. That is sick. I don't know how to say that word, but I know how to say those words. <laughs> hey, kitten, how you doing? Yeah, this game does look good. Yeah. Is it used in English? I've only heard it German slash Netherlands slash Belgium in Africa. I've never heard it. Heard of uh, heard of lecker before. Sardine. I've never caught a sardine. I don't think. Let's get some more fish. There we are. There we are. Oh Shelby, what are you doing out here, young man? Hey Shelby. I already talked to you today. You're you're good. You're good. You're fine. You you are you are free to move about the cabin. I want the no no no. I want the lobster. Give me the lobster. There we go. Let's see. It was a shrimp. Thank you. A nice little shrimp. Getting close to 7 a.m. must be uh, near my bedtime. <laughs> so tomorrow we're going to get all the wood that we need. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be all the wood. 
Um, and then we're probably going to get this thing going. Said as Poco Kina. Poco Kina? Poco Kina? Is that how you say it? Poco Kina? Poco Kina? Uh, ooh. Yeah, I will use the sardine for that. I will use the shrimp. And I will sell the mackerel. That's what I'll do. And then we will get the rest of the wood in the morning. <clears throat> Macy. Hi, hey, Macy. Macy says, that's a Brazilian recipe. Hasokina? Hasokina? I'm going to have to see if I can get some overripe bananas and make some banana butt nut bread now. <laughs> oh, I love banana bread. I like banana bread. I don't like banana bread with like chocolate chips in it. I just want straight banana bread. I love pumpkin bread too. That's that's another thing I'm, I'm jonesing about. We are getting into that, you know, time of the year. Uh, novice terror. It has been several days since uh, last we saw you uh, attending the Wellspring or attending a COVID gathering. Please don't neglect your studies or your responsibilities to the Wellspring. Very well. I just haven't used up much magic recently, which I probably should be using more, but... I've been focusing on duties around the town. That's pretty much where I sit. I will say I was at um, Target the other day and I did purchase a bag of Kit Kats. Now the bag of Kit Kats were pumpkin pie flavored Kit Kats. So it's Halloween time, just about, right? I was like, pumpkin pie Kit Kats. This looks interesting. I want to give it a shot, right? <laughs> You often get wood in the morning? Shut up. What are you doing? <laughs> I nut for... <laughs> I nut for banana bread. That's how much I like it. Darren, Darren has been placed in timeout for 500 seconds. 300 seconds. <laughs> I'll time myself out on that one. Sorry. <laughs> I have some bananas in the kitchen that are going black as planned. Oh, baby. Love that. I'm allergic to bananas, so when I get banana bread, it's banana tasting bread. Oh. Does it still like... I wonder if it like... Even taste is very similar as regular banana bread. No? She chops with one hand. I know. She's crazy. This is it. This is it. We're going to chop the rest of the wood and come back to Parker. We don't have any fancy Kit Kats. Only the regular Kit Kats. I was in Florida and they had uh, green tea Kit Kats. They had green tea Kit Kats, which was kind of cool. I almost bought them, but they were like twelve dollars. I'm like, no, these are not. These are not twelve dollars. This is this is hilarious. They were Japanese uh, Kit Kats, though. They were all different kinds of flavor Japanese Kit Kats. There we go. We got the woods. We got the woods. We used a recipe handed down from my great grandma. For pumpkin bread, my son usually steals a whole loaf and takes it to his room, never to be seen again. Ah, uh, dude, I'm the same. I could, like, eat a whole loaf. I'm disgusting like that now. <laughs> Danielle gets mad at me because she's like, that's the whole loaf. And I said, I mean, yeah. You, yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> yes, my good man. I would like a ranch, please. And thank you. Right? No. Hang on a second. Let me make sure I do this correctly. Give a ranch hand. Yes. Ranch. My lord. I would like the ranch, please. Should only take a day or so. Oh, great. Should only take a day or so. So there we go. The ranch is now being built and will be done by tomorrow. You should feel free to come by the Consciousness Center anytime. I wasn't sure what to make of it when Messenger Connor first moved here, but it's chill. It's just about trying to be a better person. I mean, I've been there and it was kind of weird. I wouldn't know if it tastes like banana bread. <laughs> zucchini bread. I've never had zucchini bread. I will say that. I've never had zucchini bread. There's Cameron. I don't even want to talk to Cameron. Not even in the mood to talk to him. Never had zucchini bread. Hey, Kai. Did you uh, get medicine for falling off a wave? Oh, Angus's donuts are ono. They're not quite like the ones at home, but close enough. Very good. Hey, Amira. How are you? Last time I gave you a bottle of wine and you were like, oh, 
Cool. Amira, do you have bags under your eyes? Uh -oh. Your skin is so perfect, I didn't think that it could manifest bags. Ah, you can tell that I was out late last night. I have a friend I go see some nights. And when it's good, it's very good. But we're very similar, so when it's bad, one of us always ends up storming out. Last night it was me. I have so many questions to what you just said to me. What the hell are you talking about? I gave you a bottle of wine. You went out with your friend. Usually it's a great time late at night. Usually it's bad time and you guys get in a fight. Who the hell are you talking about? Okay, I don't know if that is a marriage candidate anymore. <laughs> she seems, uh, I don't know, dude. There's something going on there. Uh, yes, I would like to sell you the mackerel. My Helena was the teacher at the school before Vanessa moved here. There were a lot more kids back then, too, when the mine was open. But of course, Otto didn't want to be friends with the Minus children. Oh, no, he was always trying to impress the Onus kids. Would you like to... What is this? Recipe for fish fans? What the frick is fish fans? What is fish fans? I'd like to sell you this macro for 20, I guess. There you go. Soft and Sons Fish and Tackle. Right. Hey, Damon. I'm getting the sense that Emmy and Finn have quite the reputation. Is it deserved? <laughs> Look, they never prank me, but that's because I treat them like humans and not little menaces. Also, Lena's kind of my big sister, so I'm kind of their cool uncle. And you don't mess with the cool uncle. I do like Damon. I do like Damon. Amira, yada, yada, yada. Dude, it's like the, yeah, it's like the yada, yada, yada chick from Seinfeld. That's what I'm thinking. Too many questions not answered there for Amira. How about you, Kim? How you doing? Have you met Juliet? I have. She comes by here a lot. I don't mind. There's not that many kids in town for her to relate to. The only fans for fishermen? For fishermen? <laughs> Fish fans like fi fans of fishing? I feel like I'm going to have to sell her like a chicken someday. And I'm going to be very upset when I do it. Let's go see if we can fish a little bit more. <clears throat> My goodness gracious. You know what? I want to turn my my ringer on so that when I do get that tweet, I do have it uh, notified that when the game goes live, I will let you guys know as well. I do have their Twitter on my uh, on my smack here, so I will turn on my notifier. I should have went for the big fish. That's all right. A sardine, not good enough. Definitely not good enough. Hey, Tiger, how's it going? The chicken is just going to be another, uh, going to another farm. It's fine. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Go to the other side of the beach. Kim and Damon seem like the best candidates so far, though apparently there's more options to come. Might be worth the wait. There's going to be even more options in the future, yeah? Let's see. Oh, oh yeah. There we go. What was that an oh that was a dab. An oceanic bottom dweller with both eyes on the right side of its body. That's weird. A common catch. Okay, we just dabbed on them. That's kind of cool. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know if you have to get married in this game. That's a good question. Not, I'm not sure about that. I want the big one. I want the big one. No, I want the big one. Give me the big one. That's the one I want. There it is. Wow, what is that? Oh, it's a herring. Also called the silver, silver darlings. 
A rare catch. Okay, cool. That's what she said. <laughs> okay. Nope. I want the big one. Give me the big one. I could give the fish, or sorry, I could give the fish a sardine. I could give the cat maybe like a sardine or something. There's another mackerel. That's good. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. Love that. Nope, I want that. I want the recipe bottle thingamabobber, please. There we go. I love it. Give me that, please. Is it? It is a recipe. Fried flounder sandwich. That is probably the tastiest thing I've ever seen in my life in a game. That looks amazing. Good job. More fish, please. Come on now. Nope, not the small one. Not the small one. It's going good. It's definitely going good. Having a good time with this game. Is Electrician Simulator tomorrow? It is. Sturgeon. I love a good fish sandwich. You know, I might be disgusting, but... Like... I can still get down with a fish fillet from McDonald's. Like... I know not a lot of people like that, and I know it, you know, I, it, it's very select people. I can get down with the fish fillet. 100%. Oh. Tara, I just sold the ranch. Here's your share of the sale. The new rancher will arrive tomorrow. Go welcome him, won't you? Mayor Otto, $500. Oh. Well, that was fast. New rancher tomorrow. New person? We get to see? Very cool. Let's see these new recipes. These peanut rolls and these fish things. Or fish sandwich. What do we need for that? Flour, a flounder, animal fat, and bread. That is a big one there. Yeah. That's a big recipe. Where is the peanut roll? Oh, look at that honey lemon tea. There you go. Honey lemon tea. You need black tea, honey, and lemon. Uh, peanut roll. You need flour, peanuts, and sugar. Oh, okay. So we just need sugar. That looks pretty good too. A little snack. A little sweet snack. Snacky snack or something. Nice. Should I go to bed? Uh, yes, you should go to bed. I'll be getting this game for the Switch. I cannot wait. I'll just make sure the notification was not uh, that. <clears throat> Very good, very good. I'm glad a lot of people are picking up this game. Yeah. <laughs> Not disgusting, totally. Totally, uh, totally good. <laughs> Let's talk to Grandma. Hey, Grandma. I went by that newfangled church, the consciousness center or whatever you call it, shortly after Cameron moved here. He's a nice sort of fellow, and I think he means well. But he's not terribly bright, unfortunately. Grandma! <laughs> I know the poor man can't help it. I just hope he doesn't cause too much trouble around here. The best thing at McDonald's is the fish filet. <laughs> I've never had a fish uh, sandwich from Burger King, I will say that. Never had that. I kind of want to get the speed boost going. We need some black ink and some... Um, and some uh, paper. We just haven't caught a squid because we're not using the correct bait now. There we go. Oh, honey ready. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, let's go ahead and water. Oh, God. Got to water my stuff real quick. And then we guess we go find out who this new rancher is. There we go. I more prefer the chicken sandwich. Oh, dude, the original chicken sandwich from Big Burger King is very good. I like it. I do like it. I'm a big fan of that. What you do 
is you get the original chicken sandwich from Burger King. You get fries. And then you get the zesty sauce. Get the zesty sauce. Make sure to get the zesty sauce on the side. Dip your fries. And then, like, pour some of that zesty sauce onto your original chicken sandwich. That's that's it right there. That's that's how you know things are going well. Yeah, let's go find this rancher. Hey, Thomas. You have a new neighbor, don't you? Oh, you have a quest? What's going on, Thomas? Carrots? Hey, Thomas. Got something for you. Oh. I made a big batch of stew last night. Too much for just me. Oh, that's so kind. A spring stew. Well, you didn't have to do that. It's rude to refuse a gift of food, Tara. I did it once at my uncle's wedding. An elder saw me say no and let me have it. Oh, no. What did you do? I took the plate from the woman offering it, of course. Gave it to my cousin, Albie. He's always happy for seconds. <laughs> Is it hard living apart? I would have eaten it or I would have refused. Oh my God. Um, is it hard living apart? Is it hard living in Fairhaven when the rest of your tribe is in Milkwater? Nah, it was oh. harder for my mom, but she raised us with all the same traditions like respecting elders. I feel at home when I'm there. Well, thanks for this too, Thomas. You're welcome. I better get back to my chores. Nice. You know what? At first, we were I was a little standoffish with Thomas. I think Thomas is actually coming around. I do like it. The sauce is on the store shelves. I saw it today when I went to the grocery store and got some zesty sauce. Is it the Burger King zesty sauce or is it like the Kraft zesty sauce? Because like the Kraft zesty sauce does not hit like the Burger King uh, zesty sauce. The zesty sauce at Burger King just hits in a different manner. Can't wait to put it on everything. Is there a transport in the game or do you have to run ev everywhere? So there's a couple of things. There's You can have a speed boost. There's a run boost. There is this kind of like what seems to look like a teleporter type thing at the, um, at the Coven area which maybe later in the game there might be a teleporter in the game i'm not sure i want the big one there you go Got one. i know i think thomas is like rough around the edges until you start to peel it back and get into it right absolutely When I ordered a chicken sandwich, I prefer mustard, lettuce, pickles, fries, and a drink. <laughs> I will say, I've never had that mixture of, 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 of condiments and accessories on a chicken sandwich before. I hope you're enjoying the sunshine. I wish I could be out there with you. I used to love getting up early to practice Tai Chi on days like this. But now I don't have the time or the energy. Ooh, the tie or the energy. How are you doing? Like, if we get... That, that's expensive for sugar, no? I kind of want to save my money, I will say. I want to upgrade my axe next. That's what I want to do. I guess we can talk to Cameron. You should go by Natalia's workshop if you ever need any smithing done. I want to shovel... She hammer iron all day, but she's got a heart of gold. And I want an axe. She'll be reaching Upgrade. the pinnacle in no time. When I, uh, what do you do when you can't buy BK Zesty Sauce because it isn't sold where you live? Well, the only, I think the only place you can get BK Zesty Sauce is, is at BK. At least the BK ones. That's the one I like. I've tried the Kraft Zesty one. It's good. It's just not the same. It's good, but it's not the same. But, um... Your BK should have zesty sauce, one hundred percent. That yeah, one hundred percent. It really looks like you've been around the world, Kai. Well, yeah. Back when I was doing the pro circuit, I hit up a lot of places. But world traveler I've been keeping it local lately. Less stressed. A saffron or an olive? 
Black tea. Oh, he sells black tea seeds sometimes. Ah. We can sell them wool, paper, candles. Interesting. Oh, there's Damon and Kim. Oh, dude, both of them in the same, uh, same building. Uh-oh. <laughs> Your mom still lives outside the city, right? Do you ever go visit her? Oh, yes. On all the high holidays, Juliet and I go stay with my mama and visit the synagogue I went to as a kid. <sighs> Juliet does not care for the synagogue, but she doesn't mind the food. Ah. Mama is an even better cook than me. Very well. Hey, Damon. <laughs> Look, I love Kai, which is why I said he could be my roommate. But if he leaves one more damn wetsuit on the wood floors, I swear, I will have to choose violence. Oh my god, okay, uh, calm down, Damon. I don't like the way you're speaking in that term. I don't want you to choose violence. That, that's, that's not good. <laughs> that didn't even sound like a sarcastic manner either. I tried giving Amira some lobster I cut as like a, a thank you for always fixing me up when my knife skills are not on point. But it turns out she's allergic to shellfish. Smooth, Kim. Aw. Real smooth. Kim gives me like the, she has a hard time, like an awkward, she, she gives me like a awkwardly social life type thing. That's what I'm feeling from Kim. Let's see, let's see, let's go. And we want to do shovels. So maybe we go to the mine shaft real quick. Do a little bit of ironing. Get some ironing. Hey, Violet, how you doing? Hmm. Some people might not like having their shop right by the school with all the noise from the kids, but I like being able to peek over and see Sebastian through the windows just to check in on him. Let's see how Otto's doing. How you doing, Otto? Lena told me that you harvested the potatoes I bought the other day. I did! My first crop. I hope you made baked potatoes with tons of butter. Those are the best. No, no. Vanessa used an air fryer to make non-fat french fries. <laughs> they don't taste uh, <laughs> quite the same as regular. In any case, thank you for contributing to Fairhaven's economy. I love the game acknowledges air fryers too. Uh, he does not seem very happy with his marriage. <laughs> hey, Angus. What do you got going on here, buddy? Oh, how lucky you stopped in. I've got an awesome Seton family mushroom pierogi recipe just waiting for potatoes pierogi. and mushrooms. Uh, I thought you were Scottish, not Polish. Oh, mom's side is from Poland. Although we did try filling them with haggis once, which I would mm -mm, not recommend. <laughs> If you can help me out, I'll give you a cut of the sale price and some carb-loaded goodness to take home. We love ourselves some carb goodness. Here's your stuff for your uh, pierogi. I will say, never had a pierogi. Ooh, is that what I think it is? It is the pierogi. Yes. Here's your potatoes and mushrooms. Yay! These pierogies are going to be so awesome. Here's your cut and some croissants. You must be starving. <laughs> Croissants and 100 gold or 100 monies. Good. I love it. Thank you, Angus. How are Francis you? Francis gets a bit restless sometimes and wants to take the ferry over to Milkwater for some culture. He says the only culture I care about is my sourdough starter. Hi, good game. <laughs> Smiley face. Hi, Ziona. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate that. It is a good game, right? Absolutely. I wonder what this... You see this picture here. I wonder what this... Uh, indicates here does is this uh angus and then maybe his fathers i don't know who these people are i would like to know who they are maybe i'll learn more about it oh here we go hi francis what you working on oh i'm restoring a necklace that used to belong to my abuela she left the necklace to my sister but the clasp is broken i'm fixing it up to surprise her my sister and i don't talk that much but maybe the necklace will remind her that i'm here for her Anyway, I love working with vintage pieces like this. They have such unique details. Angus always says that I should have been born in an era where people still cared about the little things. Well, to be honest, I appreciate... I appreciate the little things. I've been appreciating the old details that my grandpa worked into the farmhouse. Like, 
little flourishes on a table. Oh, your farmhouse is so classic. It's like a fairy tale cottage. He's so my happy. I lived with my family until she passed away. In my family, caring for your elders is really important. I respect that you came back here to be with Hazel. I'm sure it wasn't an easy choice. I like that. I like Francis. Oh, what are we doing back here, Francis? I do like him a lot. Hmm. Kai's stall is my favorite shop in town. You never know what you're going to find. I know, it's kind of Don't exciting. I know how he surfs every day, though. Even in summer, the water here is freezing. But then, I'm a bit spoiled. The water back home was like a warm bath. <laughs> the ocean where I live is cold. Very, very cold. You don't want to swim in it. I mean, you, you can surf in the ocean where I live, but it's very cold ocean. Hello, Natalia. They say spring is a time when love is in the air, but the only thing in the air around here is smoke from my forge. <laughs> yeah. Real quick. 20 ingots, 5 wood. Thank you. That's all I needed. I should be handing out these, like, uh, foods, too. Would you like a croissant? I just got it. Would you like a croissant? Yeah? Perfect. Oh. I needed something to take to the next book of the mind study group. Does that mean... Hang on a sec. One thing you can definitely take a look at in this game is this. Figuring out... That size Phoenix became a member. Hey, Phoenix, for the uh, gifted membership. Nice. Thank you very much, Yurok. Pint size Phoenix became a member. Yurok gifting out the membership and Phoenix picking it up. How wonderful is that? Thank you very much, Yurok. Appreciate that. Um. Oh, it actually tells him the age? You can actually see the age of the characters? Oh, that's cool. Who has like a croissant looking thing? Anybody have like a croissant? Dude, the fish. Okay, the, the cat loves the fish. I'm assuming the cat likes milk, too. Cameron? Oh, look. He likes a middle finger. Very well. Francis looks like he likes, like, a cocktail of some sort. Okay. <clears throat> Does anybody like a croissant? That? No. Doesn't look like he likes a cup of coffee. I, I, I appreciate the drip there. Anybody want some of this croissant action? Oh, cornbread for Thomas. Okay, so where, where are we looking at? Does this actually... So, Violet is 24. Vanessa's... Wait, the frick? Vanessa's 29. Thomas is 40. Sophia's 36. Shelby is... Question mark, question mark, question mark. Parker is 45. How old is Mayer? 35. He seems older than 35. These ages are a little, little, <laughs> little weird. Lena is 40. So Lena is 40. I wonder how old that kind of puts us since we, she's known us since we were a kid. Kim is 28. Kai is 27. Francis is 28. Damon is 24. So he's a little bit younger. Cameron's 34, Bruno is 72, and Amira is 38 years old. Interesting. Cool. Very interesting indeed. Doesn't look like anybody wants a croissant, though, I tell you that. All right, so let's go to the mine shaft and see if we can get some iron. Mm-mm. <laughs> Who's the new ranch owner? I don't know. I tried to go to the ranch today and nobody was there. But maybe the next day? Possibly. Let's see here. Go. Let me grab some of this iron stuff so we can finally get a shovel going on. Oh, is that who N Natalia might have wanted the wine? Now that would make sense. She seems like a wine connoisseur. How old is the cat? I wonder if it shows that. Does not say. A friendly yet mysterious cat. Does he belong to anyone? That would have been it, that would have been great. Alright, my phone is now beeping because I am in a group chat. 
I will now silence my phone. And I would expect that this game will be released in 40 minutes. How old is your character? I don't know. I was trying to guess it. Whoa, what is that? Copper. Oh, we found copper on level five. Nice. I kind of wanted to keep these stews because I know what's his face might eat it. Um, Shelby. Let's see if we can find ourselves a key here. There we are. There we are. Hey, thank you. Hey, oh Tim, my. You became a member. Oh my God. Gavin Hawk with the five gifted memberships. Holy crap. Zoe Sissy Oil became a member. Love to see that. Wow. How you doing, Gavin? Hope you're doing well. How you doing? Squeezo Prime became a member. And congratulations to Devi, Zoe, Squeezel, Chocolate Latte, and Eaglets, Eaglets Five, became a member. for picking up uh, those uh, those uh, gifted memberships. Awesome, very awesome, very generous. Eaglets hey, Five became a like member. A key to the next level. Sick, I got another key. Very cool. All right, now OBS Dev will do its thing. Everyone, prepare. Most of you for the Dinkum streams understand where this takes us now. Eaglets 5 became a member. We're going to run through it one more time here. Hold on tight. Oh, Kayla. Thanks, Kayla, for uh, for subscribing to the channel. Appreciate that. Okay, there's not much we could do in here except for grab some stone and head on out. So we've made it to level 6, if anything. That's nice. Got some iron ore with us as well. What are the orange rocks? This is, um, what was it called? It was fine sand. That's what the orange rocks are. Find sand. Fine sand. <clears throat> All right. Oh, yep. Gotta get our, uh, gotta get our, uh, soil on. There we are. There we are. Very cool, very cool. All right, let's go ahead and dip in for the night. Seven hundred dollars on us. Bed. Time for bed, indeed. Yeah, congratulations and welcome, new members. Exactly. All right. Saturday. Who would actually go to sleep with a jacket on like that? She would. She absolutely would. So give a ranch hand. There's a new rancher in town. Why don't you say hello? Oh, okay. Let's talk to Grandma about this. Grandma, uh, there's a new rancher in town. I hope you get the chance to reconnect with Lena. The two of you had so much fun when you were little. Oh, I remember. Oh, well, except that one time when one of her chickens nearly pecked all of the feathers off of one of ours. Oh, that's right. Nasty little bird bully. Well, I made him into Coca Van. Coca Van? He died of natural causes. Anyway, Lena won't say much about it, but I think she and Parker are having some difficulties. Uh oh. I'm sure she could use a good friend right now. Uh oh. That's not good. By the way, I think Grandma is a uh, murderer of chickens. Hello, I'm the new rancher, Marty. Mayor Soft tells me I have you to thank for my new home. Do come by anytime and say hello. I have something for you. Regards, Martin Emerson. All right, we get to meet a new character. I like it. I'm all about it. I'm for it. I'm forehead for it. Forehead for it. Forehead for it. Hell yeah, dude. We're making up words as we go. Grandma is straight gangster. That's basically what it is. Oh my god. Holy hell. Look how cute those cows are. Yo, look at this guy. He's handsome. Whoa. This ranch is incredible. I'm Marty Ma Emerson. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you, uh, Mr. Emerson. No, oh, please. Just call me Marty. I want you to know that the ranch you help rebuild is in good hands. Oh, I, I didn't really. 
I've graduated with honors from the top national course in animal husbandry. Mm-hmm. Is that, uh... Can we still call it that? I mean, you're a farmer, too. And you're a girl. Maybe it should be animal spousedry. Huh? <laughs> I don't think... Duh. This is already more complicated than I thought. Is it, though? Yeah, maybe we should start by keeping things simple. For now, you can buy eggs from me. When you're ready to raise your own chickens, I can sell you some chicks, too. You'll want to build a coop to keep them from scampering off. <laughs> Learned that one the hard way. Uh, that nice carpenter fellow, Parker, can help you out. Interesting. So, in the dialogue, does it say... Um, did he say Memerson instead of Emerson? Did he change his last name? Because that doesn't make much sense. Because he sent me a John Deere letter saying Emerson. Why would he give me his government name if he was afraid to do it in person? I don't know. That's weird. All cooped up. Talk to Parker about building a coop for the chickens. So $1,000 and 100 wood. We definitely need an axe then. New blueprint. Chicken coop can now be built from Parker Services. Very good. Oh my God. This is everything. Look at this son of a gun. Look at this son of a gun. Holy crap. That is adorable. Absolutely love that. Wait, didn't he, he said he had something to give to me? He just like totally did not. Hey, Keegs, how's it going? Hope you're doing well, Keegs. What the frick, dude? I don't even know. I thought, he, did he give me something? He didn't give me anything. He gave me knowledge. I was supposed to visit my sister in Milkwater today, but she said she's too busy. He's art vandaling? Figures. She does that a lot? At least once a month. But Crystal really is a busy lady. She teaches music at the university. I wish she'd come out here more often, but she says the fairy makes her seasick. Hey, Craiger, for three months. It's been three months already, Craiger. That is crazy. Time has flown by. Thank you so much for three months, Craiger. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, hang on a sec. Let's talk to, um, let's talk to, uh, uh, Thomas here. Sorry, I'm going into the wrong thing here. Thomas, what would you like for, like, a food? Looks like he has some food here. Don't know what kind of stew it is, but it's some kind of stew. I guess we can give him a stew and see where it lands here. Hey, uh, Thomas, would you, uh, be in for a fish stew? Oh, doesn't this look tasty now? It does. Oh, he gave us six eggs. Okay, good shout. He started to say Ma something but changed to Emerson. So what was he going to say? My name is Ma Marty. And he didn't say Marty. Instead, he said Emerson. What a weird thing. So obviously, we know we need uh, wood. What's his real last name, I wonder? Right? Did he forget that he wrote that letter for us? That said uh, Emerson on it? I wonder if there's something weird. There must be something weird going on there. I don't know. Wonder. Yeah. I don't know how much I need left for my axe from... Or I don't know. You know what? Let's go to Natalia right now, actually. First, we'll go to Natalia so we can get an idea here. Uh, hello. Let's conversate. You've got a lot going on, but if you ever want some moral support, come by the Consciousness Center. Everyone there is really nice. <sighs> You're very right. You're probably right about that, Ainworth. Probably right about that. So if I wanted to make myself a copper wood axe, I need three copper ingots, right? And I just now started to discover copper. So I need four copper ingots to make a copper axe. Very much so. Uh, but I can craft more iron. Right? More iron. Which means I need a lot more iron. Okay. Fair enough. So I have an idea now. Let's probably go back to the mine shaft and do that. I probably want to also think about doing... Um, are our green beans ready to go? Do something with... They might be. Are they? They are. Do something with potions. 
Do I have any more seeds? I don't think I do. There we go. That's done. There we go. Nothing there. No tulips. No tulips. How's the honey? Coming through. Very good. And good there. Okay. Let's go to the mine shaft. Unless, unless he doesn't know his name. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm not going to get anything done tomorrow because of this game. Well, you're probably correct on that. Let's be honest. No shame, though. He said Marty, then Ma, then Emerson. Very shady. Very shady. I like to start in the back here. I don't know. I feel like I get better results. <laughs> I would like a better pickaxe, too. That would be nice. We gotta hope for copper. Hey! Copper. <laughs> there we go. Go ahead and grab a little bit of smunchy smunch. Give me some croissants. Give me a... Holy crap, a spring stew gives you a lot of energy. I'll take the fish stew for now. Maybe it's a reference to Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. This game will be my weekend. I haven't heard that reference in a while. I think I have the original album in my library somewhere. You love to hear it, though. How many do I have? I need two more. Two more coppers. Two more coppers. And we're set with a copper, uh, copper axe so we can take down bigger trees. Which is big time what we need. There we go. One more copper now. I guess axe, shovel, upgrade pickaxe. That's probably the way we go. So there we go. We got the axe done. At least upgrading the axe. Now we need some iron, please. There we go. Perfect. I think that's all we can do as far as energy goes. Pick up some more stone on the way out. Coffee is potion. <laughs> Turns me from zombie to human. Any fish here I can deal with? I don't think I have any bait anymore. Do I? I still do. Okay. We'll try to fish on our own farm. We haven't fished on our own farm yet. Come on, baby. Oh, gotcha. The wildflowers discord is blown up with entitled opinions. My eyes rolled so hard I saw my brain. Oh my god. Is it really? That's that I, I'm sad to hear that. I'm not in their discord or anything like that. I'm in their Twitter verse. Like, I'm in their, like, I see a bunch of their tweets and all that, but, and their timeline, but I'm not in their, um, not in their Discord. That frightens me, though. <laughs> Hopefully everything is okay in there, though. I kind of want to do one more fish run. There's a big fish in there. Good. We have a minnow. No, I want the big one. Why isn't it out sooner? This is too late. Oh, really? Oh, they're complaining about that? Oh, well, geez. Come on. It's not a big deal. Like, what if the release date was the 21st, you know? I can't believe people are complaining about that. Some game companies release their games at certain times. Sometimes they're obligated to times. Sometimes they plan these release and times way in advance. Way before you ever even heard of the game, you know? There we go. Boost of Harvest, which we don't necessarily need to do right now. Let's see what we can bring in if we wanted to. A distillery 
we could do if we had more wood. Now, we're going to be upgrading more stuff as we get this new axe coming along. Um, I don't think Natalia is open. Natalia shouldn't be open. So, we're going to go to bed and hope that we get Natalia in the morning. <clears throat> I think I'm going to back out of the Discord for a bit. I'm kind of put off. Oh, really? By people saying... Come out sooner, come out sooner, come out sooner. Like, I get it. Like, that's this. It's, it's just it's like people should know. You <laughs> People should know, man. Like, no matter what happens. This is actually kind of cool. Fish sticks or fish fingers. No matter what happens. Somebody gets shafted in a time zone. No matter when it's uh, released. It doesn't matter. Somebody gets shafted in the long run, you know? If your time zone doesn't get shafted, somebody else's time zone gets shafted, you know? There we go. Fish stew. Let's do a minnow. Hello, Grandma. Wait, sturgeon is a... Yeah, okay. We can make this with anything, just about, right? Yeah. There we go. There we are. Cool. A lot of folks think Shelby's an odd one. Living in the woods all on his own. Oh, poor but Shelby. It's hard to outlive the ones you love. And old Shelby's lost more than most. He's got a lot to teach for those willing to listen. That is super important to say. He's willing to teach if people are willing to listen, right? I feel like that doesn't happen a lot nowadays. People, people, I've said this before. People hear you, but they don't listen to you. You know? Perfect meal for me is mashed potatoes made with mango habanero salsa. Ooh, that sounds so good. That does. That sounds really good. <laughs> a rolling release is a lot harder on the dev team than a single time zone release. Right. It's like... Uh, if they're complaining about it so much, go to tell them to go to the Apple Arcade and play it right now. Or wait 20 more minutes. <laughs> you know, today's Sunday. So does that mean Natalia doesn't work today either? Does she work on Mondays? Hopefully she works on Mondays. Normally the Aussies, dang tra time travelers, they need a <laughs> they need to get some love. I know, right? Please don't be closed on Monday. You're open on Monday. Thank God. I want to give... I want to see the cat so I can give him a... Give him a... Give him a fish, but... I, I, I do want to give him a fish. Some people think Shelby is odd, and he is. But that's what makes him delightful. If you ever treat him with anything less than kindness, you will be hearing from me. After you hear from your grandmother, I'm sure. Yeah, I should probably give it to uh, the shad. Probably should go to the to the cat and see and see how that goes. Fish. Okay, so fish sticks or fish fingers. You know, I I might be disgusting. I'm telling you, I'm a disgusting person. No, I like to put my fish sticks and I like to dip them in mayonnaise. You can hate me all you want now. This location is great for foot traffic, but brah, the smells coming out of Sophia's diner totally give me the munchies. <laughs> what do you got? Oh, you got cinnamon. And you have an orange tree sapling, which I am interested in. Cinnamon would give me one thing, though. Hey, Damon. Yeah, so... If you're trying to impress a girl who sells flowers, don't give her flowers. I speak from experience here. If you want to impress a girl, don't give her flowers. 
So that tells me that Damon will never give me flowers. Damon, you're actually shooting yourself in the foot, my good man. Hey, Lena. Oh, Parker's so supportive of me, so I try to support him too. But out of all the hobbies he could have taken up, he had to pick the League of the Conscious Mind? What? You don't like it? No, it's... It's not that. It's just, I don't trust people who tell you that you're the only obstacle between yourself and true happiness. She's true. She's right. One said games can't be played past 11 p.m. Games can't be past can't be played past 11 p.m. So that that tells me that a person says games can't be pl pay, played past 11 p.m., which means that's 11 p.m. for them, which means that's 3 p.m. for uh, the west coast of the United States, which means that's 6 p.m. for the east coast of the United States, which is, I would say, a good time to play games for us. Uh, maybe not for you guys, I guess, but, I mean, it depends on what you consider gaming time for 11 p.m. And then that means that's morning time for our friends in, uh, like, the Philippines and, and things like that. <laughs> so silly. Bruno likes to tell stories when we're waiting for yeah, don't talk about Bruno. Lines. I don't think that most of the tales he tells of fish that got away are true, but I feel like he's happy to have someone else on the docks he can tell him to. Ooh. Question. Do you like food? What kind of food do you like? You look like you're a burger gal. You do have a soup of some sort. Can I give you... A fish stew. Huh. Looks edible. Looks edible. Right. Thanks for that. Appreciate that. Might as well talk to the kids too. I should probably do that. Hello, Emmy. Juliet's like always staring at Sebastian. Oh. Then the minute he looks at her, she looks away. Oh. Juliet. Watch out for the twins. You're new and the last person who was new was Cameron. And let's just say there's a reason the Consciousness Center doesn't have the stained glass windows left over from the old church anymore. And that reason may have involved homemade slingshots. Juliet, do you do you look at Sebastian? They are UK. I'm in the UK, and it's prime gaming hours because less British kids are on the servers. <laughs> I mean, like, even if it, like, for instance, like, they complain, oh, it's past 11 p.m. You can't play games at 11 p.m. Well, there's always tomorrow. Why don't you uh, go to bed since it's too late for you to game at 11 p.m.? Why don't you go to bed and wake up at 7 in the morning to play the game? Because it will be out then. Yeah, Freaking, freaking people. <laughs> Kim's like, Kim like sushi. Have you met the new messenger? I was Cameron, never yes. one to attend religious service growing up, but I think he's a real asset to the community. Oh no, I want to talk to Parker. Parker. I don't tell my folks back home that I joined the League of the Conscious Mind. My mama worked all week, but she still dragged me and my brother to church every Sunday. She would not be pleased. I gather that my grandma doesn't think much of the Consciousness Center either. Yeah, well, that's Hazel. I get it. If I were her age, I wouldn't want to hear life lessons from some young newcomer either. All right, Cameron, give, it, give me your best shot. It's important that everything we put in the body be healthful to keep us in peak condition for climbing the mountain. But an occasional indulgence isn't bad. <laughs> if you're craving something sweet, visit Angus's bakery. He only uses fresh ingredients. Why, thank you. Thank you, Laurel. Appreciate that. Yes, and shout out to the Philippines. Violet mentioned that you helped her source some of the blooms for my order. Thank you. They were... Charming. Sure. It was no trouble at all. <laughs> you just got here and you're already helping out your new neighbors. I am, Vanessa. I think that's just lovely. Uh, well, that's 
good on you for thinking that. Thank you. But you and your husband are kind of off, aren't you? You guys are not on like you're not you're not synced, are you? Parker and Lena are wonderful citizens. Why do you yell? So industrious. It's a shame their children don't take after them. They're just kids. My God. There's still plenty of time. Jesus, Maybe. Otto. But the number of places in town hall where those two have hidden whoopee cushions is obscene. Damn, dude, that was rough. Him on the uh, on the kids there. Hey, Angus. Oh, I'm so glad Kai is on the island. Even if the bouncy perfection atop his head makes me want to weep with envy. Ugh. Still, I couldn't source cinnamon for my cinnamon rolls without him. <laughs> oh, cinnamon rolls sound amazing right now. Oh, good God. Everything sounds good at this point. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we have like 15 minutes, right? 15 minutes until release. Holy crap. Hold on tight. I know the last time somebody said I couldn't, uh, I couldn't game was past a certain hour. Like, I don't know. I like, hang on a sec. Do I have uh, fish for the cat? I don't know if I used it all or if I need to go get some. I do. I have a dab. The cat might not. You know what? I'm going to dab on the cat. Not going to be a favorite, but it's, it's the first time we ever gave all that love. Look at that. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> that didn't you kitty absolutely pet the cat now pet the cat oh look at the head scratches look at that oh i love it good job cat shelby are you up here on a sunday you are up here on a sunday good to see oh and lena's here hey lena so many peanuts around hey shelby uh, is there anything I can give to you? Like, would you mind, like, having... Uh, probably fish stew would have been great. Right, for you? Hi, Shelby. What if I can give oh, some Bruno fish sticks? Bruno gave me a rod. Thought I might try my chances at the lake. You'll do better if you aim where they're going to be. No point going where they were. Otto sounds like one of those uh, announcers from Two Point Hospital. Oh, I can give him a fish stew. Let's give him a fish stew. You like this. Is that heavenly aroma? Fish stew? Why, thank you. Oh, yeah. Dude, he's... Yeah. Very good. Good job. He was so happy and so excited. That was worth every... That was just worth it all, baby. That was, that was great. Good job. I will sell, like, maybe half of these. Sell some of these as well. Get his level up on his shop going, right? See how that takes us. Thank oh, wait. He's already maxed out on his level, I think. Oh, my God. He was so excited about that. That made me happy. Now, our people in the Coven are really upset with us that we haven't been there in a while. But we've been doing other tasks. So, I will go to the Coven and I will give them what they want as far as a donation of some sort. So, they will get that. Patience is one way to say it, but next time is a one-way trip to the ICU. <laughs> Dude got really excited for the fish stew, right? Uh, can I put one coconut in there? There's your donation. Don't ever send me another letter in the mailbox again. I've done did my duty. Range combat is the best way to defeat Otto, the mayor boss. <laughs> <laughs> COVID, not COVID. Sorry. Coven. Coven, not COVID. Sorry. Coven, my lord. Now I'm mixing up. Okay, so tomorrow we're gonna getting we're gonna be getting a new axe. Yes. Hello, Sophia. Did I talk to you today? I have not. Hazel told me that before I moved here, she was like a no pie. Get a cappuccino on the entire island. And a Can coffee. You imagine that. I feel like she wants a pie and a coffee. Very good. I think she said her favorite pie in the beginning of the game, too. <laughs> they will send you mail tomorrow to say thank you. Now you said that. <laughs> All right. 
Let's use up our energy here and actually go to the mine shaft and get some more ores and things like that. What is Natalia doing here in our in our farm? You're creeping me out, Natalia. I'm feeling a little bit of a, a anxious vibes coming on into the um into the chat when it comes to uh 10 minutes away from like release right oh baby everybody's cooking up everybody's getting ready for some wildflowers to pop through it's gonna be great absolutely great right there we go almost very good So good so one thing i mean we we need a cop well we actually should want more copper too more copper wouldn't be bad if we want to get our pickaxe up eventually too <clears throat> page hello page page says i got super far in this game on the apple arcade it's super fun and i love the representation oh very good how you doing page uh, we need a little bit of food here possibly give me some fish fingers that come in with a big bang and hit of uh Energy. Love to see that. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. Is there more over here, possibly? Yeah, let's get over here. Closer to the door, I feel like, is always good luck. I could be uh, superstition about that. No, you're wrong. Are you... No, what... No, 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 no. You're going to get people wild. Is it on? Is it live? Hey, Are we live? To the next level. Are we live on Steam? Are we ready to go? Everybody getting it going? Oh, look at those mushrooms, no? Hey! Hooray! By the way, shiitake mushroom, not shit take, shiitake mushroom. Um, it's live. Let's go! Hooray! No, wow. D do you believe they released it like 15 minutes early because of the people blowing up the Discord? God. Thank you. I got the game at 10:45 p.m. Now I can go play it for 15 minutes because apparently I can't play games past 11 p.m. Get on with yourself. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can't game between the hours of 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. Thanks a lot, St uh, Studio Dry Rock. God. People just... Some people, man. Ain't that something. It's 1130. I should probably head back before I pass out in the mines after talking all this ish about people. <laughs> there is a discount. Really? So there's a discount on the deluxe, but not on the standard version. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, right. So nobody. So there you go. Nobody said thank you in the discord when it was released. Very well. I guess that's to be expected. sleepy not a single person said thank you in the discord oh. <laughs> yeah definitely if you have a switch go pick this game up on switch right now hey pat how you doing yeah i can't game unless the game starts with the letters k through v on a wednesdays please <laughs> there's some more honey oh we got two beeswax that time Hey, Amy, how you doing? <laughs> Gave my dog a bath and listened the whole time. Oh, very good. Very good. 
just for that the devs ought to throttle the dl so that they that the complainers can't complain <laughs> or complainers can't play gonna play it tomorrow or later because it's 6 a.m here yeah look at ainworth look at ainworth it's it's you know five in the morning 5 55 probably in the morning ainworth's not complaining that the game came out at the you know like 11 p.m what would you rather the game be like 11 p.m or come out on a um or a 5 a.m or 6 a.m right Jeez, louise got 10 more minutes i need to go to natalia big time Thank you, Natalia. How you doing? Oh, is it time to go to Damon's yet? Blacksmith work sure helps you work up a thirst. Nice. Okay, so let's go here and go. Yes, I would like to make copper ingots. Now, this gives me the ability to get a copper wooden axe crafted. And then I need some wood and some more iron. And I'm going to probably need some more money eventually. Eight. Five more iron ingots and a little bit more wood. Nice. So we got some of our first, like, ever, like, real deal, like, upgrade going on there. That was pretty good. I wonder if I could take down a whole tree now. Can I take down a whole tree? I can. <sighs> Hooray! Whole trees coming down. <laughs> And stumps to go along with it. Oh my lord, look at this now. Now the potion for gathering would definitely come into play right here. Look at that. Look how fast that is now. So in order to get the potion of gathering, we're going to need some black ink. So maybe I can go buy some bait. Because I need special bait for that. I'd rather it be 11pm instead of 6am. I know, right? 5pm for you. Got to drop by. Got to drop, but thanks for the great stream. Hope to catch you live again. See ya, Cal. Have a good one. The mysteries in this game are fun. Can't wait to see you unlock more Coven secrets. I know. I'm super excited about it, too. Is the fish open today? Damn it. Close on Mondays. Did you know that the original meaning of libations is offering to the gods? So when you think about it, my bar is kind of a like a temple. Does that make it respectable enough for Otto? <laughs> I should pretend to go on the Discord and comp be upset that they released a game 10 minutes before my son's school bus shows up to drop off my son and I have to wait 10 minutes to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Cameron's a looker, isn't he? What? He hasn't no. been here much longer than you, but no. I wouldn't be surprised if he has admirers already. Sophia. Consciousness center of his, though. Ah, I don't know about that place. Uh, Sophia. Come on now. Hi, Lena. Thomas's sister keeps setting him up on dates, but none of them seem to work out, which is disappointing. For him, I'm sure, but also for me. I've told him a few times that our relationship ended in high school, and there's not going to be a second act. I'm married. I'm just not sure how much he hears me on that. And now Lena is going through some, like, times right now, you know? Marital times, I think, that we have been kind of, like, put into. Or at least not, we, we haven't, like, put ourselves into it, but more or less um, been notified of the situation. There's the cat. Touch the cat. Thank you. I'm going to run back to the mine shaft. See if I can get the rest of the iron that I need so I can make the shovel. Because I definitely want to... Um, I definitely want to build a shovel so that I can get it for the... And start digging in the mine shaft too to see what that's all about. Copper axe is a game changer. Yeah, I agree. Let's see here. I'm going to go for the lobster. Oh, I'm going to go. F oh, man, I'm so torn. I'm going to go for the bottle. Yeah, I'm going to go for the bottle. Cameron, girl, I thought you had taste. I thought you had taste. Okay, there we go. Bottle. Just bought this and King of Retail. Oh, very good. Hang on. Very good indeed. This isn't a fish. What the hell was that? Some kind of recipe. What was that? A malasada? What the? What is a malasada? Is this a savory or is it a sweet treat? Snack? Food? Eat? What the heck is that? 
A Malasada? I've never heard of a Malasada. Hello, Francis. Oh, hey, Tara. Hey, Francis. Do you have a cold? No, it's just my allergies kicking up again. Amira's given me every antihistamine cocktail she can think of, but no dice. Yo, I can get you a cocktail. To, like, nature. <laughs> Looks like donuts. That's what I was thinking, too. Like some custard-filled donuts or something. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, Malasada. Just got an email saying it's available too, but let's go. Or bye, let's go. Let's go. Go get it. Go get it. Go pick up the game, y'all. Go have fun with uh, Wow Flowers as much as I've had. I've had a lot of fun with this game. Don't worry, before you know it, you will probably be most likely ahead of me the next time we revisit this game. Oh, I'm stoked for summer. When the winds blow offshore, you get the most perfect peeling waves. <laughs> the perfect peeling waves? A couple lobsters in here I'll grab. Hit that allergy. Oh, God. There we go. Hit that allergy flare up with some pre uh, prednisone pack, baby. I caught a shrimp. I have no more bait now. He gave you an anise. I don't even know how to say the rest of that word, but no dice. How about playing cards? Maybe a tabletop game? I thought you were going to say tabletop simulator for a sec. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can finish off this day with a little bit of mining here. And then we'll we'll use the use the axe as much as possible. Isn't Malasada a macaroon? Is that, I don't know. That didn't look like a macaroon. That looked more juicier than a macaroon. It did look a little bit juicier. There's like something coming out of it. It looked like a pigtail coming out of it. <laughs> a Portuguese donut, basically. Is that what it is? A Portuguese donut? Now I'm interested. But I will say, I am one of those people that do not like... Uh, I don't like jelly-filled donuts. I don't like custard-filled donuts. I, I'm not a fan of that. I know that's probably a very unpopular opinion. But I am not a fan of the jelly-filled or custard-filled donuts. I will be studying more ACLS after this. Then I can resurrect myself when I play Elden Ring when I die 20 times. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. A little bit of hit there. Might as well finish it off. That's all the food that we have now. <laughs> Am I going to be streaming for a longer while? No, I'm not going to be streaming for a longer while because the game is officially out. So I'm going to probably wrap up the stream here soon so that everyone can go ahead and uh, peace on and enjoy their time with this game. So that they don't have to feel obligated to watch the stream. I will let you all... Definitely go enjoy the game for the rest of the, your evening or the rest of your day or the rest of your morning, wherever it may be. But I'm going to be wrapping it up here soon. Too sweet and messy for the filled donuts. I think I had a bad experience with jelly filled donuts when I was a kid. That's why I don't like them. Cream, cream filled donuts are the best. I also do have softball later, too. And I got to record videos for the rest of the evening before I go to softball as well. <clears throat> but only till 11 tonight, right? I know, right? That's what my group chat is blowing up about, about the whole softball, the championship game tonight. We'll see how that goes. I don't know. People get intense out there. They do. They get super intense. 
I ready for bed? You are ready for bed. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, that is where we're going to stop it today. Um, the game is out right now, so make sure to go and, uh, you know, I don't know, think about picking up the game for yourself. Absolutely. Um, very excited for this game to come out and very excited for people to join and, and, and play along here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today until release. I do appreciate it. I am... You know, I guess I'm sorry for the people that couldn't wait until the time it came out, but whatever. It's out now. Go have a boatload of fun. Have a rest, a uh, great rest of your guys' evening. It's been a pleasure and honor being with you here today. We will be picking up a new game tomorrow. We will be streaming Electrician Simulator. And we also have plans for September 22nd. In two days, we will be also streaming. I have a copy right now. I haven't played it yet. I know what you might be thinking. I do have a copy. And I haven't played it, and I'm going to hold off from playing it until release day. And that is Slime Rancher 2. So I do have Slime Rancher 2 right now. I could play it right now, but I'm going to wait until it's released so that we can all play together. So with that being said, I want to say a special thank you to Danielle Smith for gifting a membership to Ainworth today. Thank you so much, Matthew, Waking Matthew, for $20 Super Chat. Kemper Michelle for, um, uh, yeah, for, yeah, becoming uh, two months on the membership. Love to see that. Danielle Smith with the five super chat. Darren with the 10 super chat. Uh, Ziona for the, for the super chat as well. Um, Yurok with the gifted membership as well. And Gavin Hawk for five gifted membership also. Love to see that. Love to see you guys. And I can't wait to talk to you tomorrow where we will be playing Electrician Simulator and figuring out how to be an electrician. Other than that, it's been a pleasure and honor. I will see you guys tomorrow. And do as always, take care and enjoy wildflowers. <laughs>